What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's good? I'm so mad at this nigga Lamar right now. This dude Lamar Jackson wait till fucking week 14 to show up. I'm so pissed. Oh, man. It's round two. I normally only do multiple live streams on Sunday, but you know what I'm saying? We're putting in that work today. Definitely put get, getting this Monday grind on right now. Taking a day off tomorrow. I might have to record some videos tonight scheduled for tomorrow release. Shout out to shout out to Donnie Anthony. Donnie Anthony says, I invaded Cold Raven's chat and he don't want no smoke. Ah <laughs> fuck Cold Raven, yo. Cold Raven pussy. Cold Raven no better, bro. Cold Raven no better, man. He ain't said my name not one time because he fucking know better. He know better. <laughs> Shout out to Donny Anthony, man. Hold these dudes accountable, bro. Hold these dudes accountable, man. He's sick right now. This dude Cole Raven, he's sick because he tried to he tried to expose EDP again and that shit failed. He's sick. He's sick. That dude got like. 9,000 subscribers off it, off exposing EDP and don't none of them motherfuckers fuck with them. That's the sad part. Like I said, y'all, you can't cheat your way to the top on YouTube. The people got to love you. If the people don't love you, you, you not going to like. Is that Jarvis Lynch? Yo, where the fuck is jagging off at? Jagging off. Get your ass in the live stream. This dude jagging off. I need him to beat this redskin dude in this fantasy league. And D Man, exactly. That's exactly why uh CEO, my top shooter. CEO really don't play that shit. Yo, come on, man. Jagging off down eight points. No, yeah. Jagging off down nine points. Shout out to Donnie Anthony. He says, I spam Fisk unit in the chat. Go peep your IG DMs. All right, I'm about to go look now, Donnie. Um, oh, speaking of my Instagram, I found Big Bertha. Big Bertha's on my Instagram right now. If y'all want to see Big Bertha, go ahead to my Instagram. Big fat ass Big Bertha is on my Instagram right now. Damn, I'm looking for you, Donnie. Hold on. I'm at, wait, hold on. Shout out to Cam. Cam says, if we win, I never want to hear another Lamar Baker comparison. Nah, that was bullshit to begin with. We all knew Lamar was better than Baker. That was bullshit to begin with. Dudes is out of line. Grandmaster Lil Drop Crack. He got that baby Goku. Shout out to baby Goku, man. I love kid Goku. Man, I'm gonna have to watch me some Dragon Ball, man. I fucks with Dragon Ball. Um, Donnie, what's the when's the last time you left a, a comment on one of my posts so I could find you? Cause it's hard for me to it find you on my DM, Donnie, because I'm not sure if you're I don't know if I accepted any of your DMs before, so I can't find you. Um, 
Um, all right, Donnie, I found you. Now nah, I found you. I don't you're not in my DMs though. Shout out to Mac Ultra. Mac Ultra says Mr. Goon still got a MySpace. <laughs> Mr. Goon probably still got a flip phone too. Dragon Ball the only anime I watch. How about that? I know it ain't the only anime, but it's the only anime I watch. Okay, there you are. Ha! <laughs> Shut out the <laughs> Shut out the Donnie. Yo, my man Donnie went troll the shit out of Cold Raven. I appreciate that. Yeah, this motherfucking child, he don't want to say my name, bro. Ah, shout out to Donnie. Shout out to Donnie for, for invading Cold Raven live stream and trolling the shit out of him, yo. That's what's up. Fuck Cold Raven. That's what's up. <laughs> That's dope. Yo, Donnie, I appreciate that. I appreciate that shit. All right, yeah, Donnie. Donnie's definitely getting a promotion later this week, man. I appreciate that, Donnie. I appreciate that. Donnie definitely getting him a promotion later this week. Hey, yo, Bertha, I, I got you on my Instagram page, Bertha. We found you on IG. All right, Bertha, so go to my Instagram page, Bertha. I put your fat ass on my Instagram page. <clears throat> Shout out to Dr. Demolition. He says Cold Raven is just a Puerto Rican EDP with bad jokes. He ain't even that. He he not funny. He ain't no fucking Puerto Rican EDP. He want to be EDP so bad, but he not, bro. He a cornball, man. He a whole cornball. Don't nobody fuck with him. I, I, I can't stand it. Like, he just a clout chaser. I hate clout chasers, bro. I can't stand, like, how you gonna try and, it's like, EDP is a good dude, EDP really is a good dude, and it's just like, he trying to tear down EDP's livelihood, his whole career, for some fucking clout, bro, that's just some sucker shit, bro, it's just the most sucker shit ever, I can't respect it, I just can't respect it, shout out to Titan Omega Music, oh, I got you, Donnie, Titan Omega Music says, Imagine this scenario. Browns down. Shout out to Titan Omega Music for the 20, by the way. He says, imagine this scenario. Browns down two in the playoffs. The ball is on the Browns two-yard line. Baker executes the drive of his life, gets it within field goal range with three seconds left in the game. Cody Parker doinks it off the upright. Oh, it's the kick. It's the kick. A, a, a Titan Omega music. It's called the kick. Everything that happens in the, to the to the Cleveland Browns is called the the. They are, I remember when I threw them in the firing range. I said the Cleveland Brown fan base is waiting for the next the. You know how they got the drive, the fumble. They're waiting on the next the. That would be called the kick. Some there's always you can go look in Cleveland's history. There's always some kind of the. If something bad happened, they ne they waiting on the next the bro. Shout out to Darius, aka Kane. He says, "Bro, my defense playing so sus right now. Shaking my head. I hope we win." Oh, you a Browns fan? Oh shit, you you ain't winning this game. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Pause. Yo, Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> 
Change that thumbnail. That shit is ugly. Oh my gosh. Change that shit. That shit ugly. Oh hell no. Bertha Wilding. That shit ugly as hell. Oh hell no. Shout out to Bertha. Bertha says, I see you still hurt, little boy. You gets no pussy. And you have no pussy. You a dude. You got a dick. <laughs> he banned my name. <laughs> Cold Raven Pussy. <laughs> Cold Raven Pussy. <laughs> Yo, Corey, pussy. <laughs> fucking die. <laughs> Yo, I'm crying. Corey, the pussy. Yo, Tyson, get your boy. Yo, we're Tyson. Now. Hold on, time out, yo. <laughs> Yo, I got to get Tyson on the phone. I got to get Tyson on the phone. Yo, Jagging, what up? What up, man? Not much shitting on Cold Raven. I got to get Tyson on the phone, bro. This dude Cold Raven and ban my name from his channel. <laughs> Yo, what Tyson? Oh, shit. Hey, yo, y'all gonna have to invade Cold Raven channel and type F space U. Just type <laughs> F space U for the fist unit. Type that shit. Just spam that I shit. Say, in are you saying, I was gonna ask, are you saying F U is in fist unit or just fuck you? It's a double entendre. That's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like it. Yo, pick your phone up, Tyson. I ain't even calling you about my money you owe me, T Tyson. I'm calling you to punk your homeboy. Send him a text. <laughs> oh, Raven, pussy. <laughs> Cold Raven is Damn so pussy. It. And he, he didn't want none of you, bro. He didn't want none of that shit. He ran like a motherfucker. That's the sad he, part. He ain't been, was he in here earlier? Nah, he just a pussy, and I called him out on that shit. I ain't even throw him in the firing range. I just reacted to EDP making fun of his ass. Damn it. Yeah, yeah I see. I seen that video. Yeah, bro. Yeah, he didn't want none of you. He deleted my messages. Oh my gosh, yo, this shit is fucking hilarious. Hold on, let me pick my phone up and go look at his live stream. Come on, throw a touchdown to Landry and end this shit, please. Oh, just give it the fucking hunt and let him run. Chubb's not in. Chub. I'm talking about Chubb. Give I'm it saying, Chubb. Chubb's not in. What did Chubb get hurt? Who? Hit? Oh god, damn it! <sighs> Why he keep throwing to this Higgins dickhead, man? God damn. <laughs> Yo, he's spamming this little pussy live stream, bro. Fuck him. Oh, Fuck we on a live stream? Yo, I ain't never seen a dude get punked this bad on the internet. How you scared to go to go into an internet beef? That's sad. <laughs> Shout out to my you're guy. Not, you're not EDP, bro. Basically. Shout out to uh shout out to uh Darius. Darius says, hell no. I'm a Ravens fan, bro. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I see. Yeah, yeah. Baker Mayfield and Nick Chubb putting points up right now. Shout out to uh shout out to Ken. Cam says, putting these, putting this out there. Ravens Nation do not fuck with Cole Raven. <laughs> I 
I've seen such things. Hey yo, somebody going to his hey yo Mac Ultra. Somebody going to his live stream and say that F U stand for Fisk Unit. <laughs> 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 Yo, Cole Raven. This new Cole Raven only getting views of this live stream because I sit the motherfuckers here. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's going to be what it's going to be. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Yo. Damn, this, damn it, somebody. Damn it, somebody said Latin. We Latin people don't clean cold raven. God damn. <laughs> this this is y'all y'all are witnessing a pussy at his fine. This dude is a bitch. He a whole bitch. He a whole bitch. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh man, Tyson just texted me. Hold on. Wait, they, what? They boys? Yeah. Wow. That's I'm gonna be honest with you. That's the main reason why he didn't come at me. To be honest with you, Tyson probably told that motherfucker don't do it. Because <laughs> I told Tyson, I was like, Tyson, tell your boy I'm gonna fucking body him if he. If he he said my name one time. I'm telling him I'm going I'm to I'm I'm end him. I told him that shit. Shout out to Game Day Tampa. Game Day Tampa oh, says random, Lynch. random, but need to hear from the conspiracy fist. If this alien stuff true, what you think happens next and how will people react? Um, give Landry the two point conversion. I'm gonna be honest with you. If aliens is real, man, shit. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. With you. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I think people panic. I think people panic. How, how do you feel about that? What aliens? Yeah. If how do you think people will react? I don't think people lose their shit. I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised just with how big the universe is, but fuck. <sighs> Keep talking, uh, jagging off. I'm trying to send this text. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, Harrison, I'm going to be 7-7 seven and seven if I win tonight. I'm talking about you 7-7 fe- seven and seven fantasy. My future hangs in the balance with Nick Chubb and Jarvis Landry. Many points I need now. All right, all right, we done with Cole Raven. Cole Raven can suck Fuck ten man. dicks. Let's get back to the business. Cole Raven can suck ten dicks. All right. Um. <laughs> so check this out. If Raven, if if um, look, if aliens do exist, bro. Then the first question we're going to ask is how long did the government know about it? It's going to be a lot of government conspiracies game day, Tampa. The, the government's going to have a lot to act, answer to. It, yeah. it's, it, it, are they peaceful? Do they come in peace? I think what happens is if aliens are real, I think what will end up happening is the government's going to have to explain it. It, 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 the government's gonna have to explain it. Are we safe? Do they come in peace? What else are you not telling us? Is there oh, life shit. on Mars? So oh, it really shit. they is, don't even fucking know. Nah, but when nah, they know the government know because Donald Trump, Trump done talked about his space army for, for like ten times. Oh, we got the space unit. We have the space. We have the space force and shit. Like he done talked about a space army like mad times. People just yeah. be ignoring. Oh yeah, about the. Oh yeah, by the way, Fist, uh Lamar Jackson's out. I don't give a fuck. I traded okay. his ass. I was just pissed off that he started <laughs> that he's balling in the playoffs <laughs> and I fucking traded his ass. That's what I was mad about. Shout out to T2. T2 says if Fist clap cold raven, it'd be NY NY violence. That motherfucker ain't even from Baltimore. He ain't even in Baltimore. He repping a fucking 
We a Puerto Rican living in New York repping a damn Ravens. What kind of shit is that? Looking like I mean, Jack Harlow and shit like that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm a, I mean, I'm a cracker in Baltimore repping the Jags, but you know. Oh no, nah, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. I was wondering about that, but you, I was out of why the fuck you ain't repping the Ravens or something like that. You repping fucking Jacksonville. Ugh. I was like, I don't fuck with the Ravens. Shout out to Mac Ultra. Mac Ultra says. I honestly think we're the last species alive. Thank you, Hollywood Brown. Here's the thing. Well, here's what y'all got to understand. First of all, um, hey, yo, Donnie, bro. If uh, if he blocked you, bro, he pussy. That's what I said. He didn't want the smoke. He did not want the smoke. He know better. <laughs> he know better. Shout out to Mac <laughs> Ultra. Mac Ultra says, I honestly think we're the last species alive. Look, here's the deal. I'm just going to go ahead and give you all my theory on aliens right quick. So what you, have to understand, what you have to understand is this. Dinosaurs. Okay, I'm going to break it down to you like this. I mean, let me ask everybody in the live stream a question. All right, let me break this down to you. all How the hell does anybody know aliens were wiped out by a, 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 a meteor? Have you ever asked yourself how does that make sense? I mean, think about it. How do human beings know that alien that, that dinosaurs got wiped out by meteor? Have you ever asked yourself how the fuck do we know that? This is a good question. So my theory is this: human beings are the aliens. This is not our home planet. Now, I'm a good little Christian boy. I believe in Jesus. I believe in the Bible. I'm just putting that to the side for a second. If you're religious, I don't want to offend you. I don't want to offend anybody religious. I'm just putting the Bible to the side for a second, okay? We're putting the Bible to the side. I believe we're the aliens. I believe we came here from another planet. Them big-ass dinosaurs was, was walking <laughs> and we wiped them motherfuckers out. I truly believe that's what happened. Have you ever noticed all them ancient Egyptians look to the sky? You ever notice that? My whole yes. thing is with these ancient, you're jagging over. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If you look at the hieroglyphics on the pyramids, those are big people and little people. Those aren't bad drawings. You mean to tell me they can design a pyramid to look lifelike from a facial feature of the people that they're making it of, but they're going to misdraw the fucking hieroglyphics? Yeah, come on, bro. Those are big. Go, Landry. People. Those are big people and little people. I'm telling you, those pyramids were built two thousand years ago, right? Uh -huh. You mean to tell me they can build pyramids with sand, water, and slaves? But it took human beings, machines, and thousands of people to build a fucking skyscraper. Make it make sense. I mean, it took. Like, I mean, didn't it take like a long ass time for them to build fucking pyramids? No, it didn't. Think about this for a second, Jagged. Don't think about this. You got two thousand slaves. You got two thousand slaves, big and small, giants and regular people, uh -huh. working twenty four seven to build your shit. That thing was built in no damn time. I promise you that. Right. Aliens exist because we're the fucking aliens. I tell people all the time, aliens are not going to have 10 eyeballs and six arms and four legs. <laughs> they're going to look like us. When we see aliens one day, when we make, when we finally encounter other life, right. Mac culture, listen to me, Mac, because Mac said that been my theory also, Fizz. Yo, Mac, check this out. Aliens are going to look just like us. They're going to look just like humans. Now, they might be able to do, they might be able to fly. They might be able to breathe underwater. We don't know what kind of crazy shit they got going on in their planet. We don't know. But well, they would probably, well, they would probably have to since Earth is the only known place that has oxygen. Exactly. Or, right. or, or, or everything else, you can't breathe in it. Well, we don't well, know well, that, well, though, Dragon Off. Well, That's true, but well, 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 places we've been, we know that. If that makes sense. 
Oh no, I get what you're saying. But if that army guy was right, that people that the, the, the alien government meets on Mars, then who? Where else? Where else is their life at? I also heard a theory that there's a that there's people on the fucking moon and shit like that. I'd have heard some crazy shit. But all I'm saying is this: I wanted to bet my bottom dollar that when we finally see aliens, they're gonna look just like us, literally. Because I have a so you a think it's, so you think so you think it's going to be like that dumb ass show uh, V was what? No, don't take show about the oh he's lining up as a receiver. The what show? The fucked up show V or some shit. It was on ABC. It was a piece of shit. I don't remember that shit. All Yo, I know. Is- will you stop throwing to this bum Higgins? Higgins, whatever the fuck his one, name bro. is. Well, he's a deep threat. Put it that way. He's a vertical. Whatever. Well, whatever. Throw the goddamn ball to Landry. I ain't even worried about Landry. I just need them to give Nick Chubb one thirty yard run and we good. Like Man, one thirty yard touchdown run and we good. We're good if one of them touches. Get. We're good if Landry or Chubb gets a touchdown. Period. I'm. I'm before the, before this drive started, I was only down eight points. Shout out to Giants Nation. Giants Nation says. There were black men walking on the <laughs> road in Uranus. Probably. <laughs> Damn, I thought he was, oh, yeah. Damn it, I thought he was going to break it. I'm trying to tell you, Giants Nation, the aliens look just like us. They look just like us. Shout out to T2. T2 says, so basically saints. Exactly. And that's what I'm trying to say, T2. They're basically going to be like saints. They might be stronger. They might be faster because their planet might have some shit on it that we don't got to deal with. But the aliens yeah. are going to look just like us because we're aliens. This is not our planet. I'm telling you, this ain't our fucking planet. It's not because, oh, go ahead, Chubb. Damn it, Chubb. Fuck. Chubb just ran for 15 yards and got stopped. But anyway, um, put it. Damn, I'm damn. I'm watching on my on my phone. You must be ahead of me. Yeah, I'm ahead of you. Chubb just ran to like the five yard line. But um, <sighs> so check. Don't this tell out. me they're gonna put Kareem Hunt in. Uh, I'll let you know in a second. Um, I can't see. Oh um, no, Chubb is in. Chubb is in. Chubb still but, in. Um, Chubb still in. But yeah, so check this out, y'all. If dinosaurs are real, right? So. Hold on. Shout out to Mac, Mac Ultra. Oh, oh, go ahead, Chubb. Damn, Chubb. Never mind. Mac Ultra says, Mr. Goon, one of them aliens. Yeah, he ugly as fuck. Probably is. <laughs> but, but check this out, right? And they, all right, they took Chubb out. Bagging off. They took him out. But, um, so check this out, right? This is how I know Earth is not our planet. If you believe in dinosaurs, right? Hypothetically speaking, if you believe dinosaurs are real, then Earth is not our home planet. Period. Yeah. There's no fucking way human beings were on this planet when 30, 40, 50 foot dinosaurs were walking the Earth. It's not possible. And another thing, let me ask y'all a question. If dinosaurs were, if, if, if human beings were on the planet when dinosaurs were on the planet, why isn't that in the Bible or any books? Why didn't we take record of it? Have you ever thought about that? We got history from Rome, ancient Egypt, Bible times with Jesus, but we ain't got no history books with us playing with Dino the dinosaur. (laughs) Dino? (laughs) (laughs) I'm just saying. Dino. These are questions. Paul Landry. These are questions that you gotta ask yourself. Okay, good. Didn't joke. I didn't catch it. Uh, face Landry was over. Hold on, come out, Baker. Baker, damn, Baker ran for a touchdown. No, god damn it. Yeah, Baker ran for a fucking touchdown. Ain't that some shit? <sighs> damn it, that but, previous play too. He had Landry one on one. God damn it. All right, let's but, see. All right, let's see. There were a couple big plays by both of them on this, so maybe I'm close. So shout out to Damage Good. Damage good. Oh, yo. What, what's good, bro? DJ is our guy. We good, bro. Four. Judge, too. Yeah, we'll be fine. Long term, y'all. <laughs> Giants to be fine. But Jack got me on my conspiracy shit right now. Oh, you only down by four points, Jack. Yeah, four, right. 
four point four point zero. That's you'll be all right. You, you'll be all right. You know why you're gonna be all right because um, either Nick Chubb's gonna milk the clock. Or Baltimore's gonna score and they're gonna have to throw dump downs to Landry. One way or the other, you'll be fine. And don't forget, if Nick Chubb gets an 18 yard run, he gets a three point bonus for the 100 yard mark. So you don't even really gotta score. You just need Nick Chubb to get like two first downs and you win because you get the 100 yard bonus. So just I think if he him. gets, I think if he, I think if he gets one, I win. He, nah, you he or or, be cl- or close to it. Nah, he's got 82 yards. He, so he needs. So he needs 18 yards. Yeah, he gets that 18 yards, you win. Right. But anyway, back to my aliens and shit. Because um, <laughs> y'all got me aliens. talking about my aliens and shit. This jagging off over here, sweating his playoff live, and I'm talking about aliens. So what I'm trying to explain to y'all is this. I am, bro. I got money on the line in this shit. <laughs> so what I'm trying to explain to y'all is this. My theory is correct. Human beings came from another planet and took over the Earth. Because you can't explain dinosaurs. Just, you can't explain it. So you mean to tell me we don't got no documentation of the Flintstones? We don't got no documentation <laughs> of, of playing with Dino the dinosaur. But we know <laughs> we know an asteroid hit the Earth and wiped out the dinosaurs. So we can't document playing with the dinosaurs, but we can document the dinosaurs dying. So let me get it straight. That that meteor that hit the Earth wiped out fifty foot dinosaurs, but didn't didn't fuck with human beings. So we lived. Yep. So the human beings lived, but the dinosaurs didn't. <laughs> what did human beings eat? Why 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 the Earth recover? Because if if a meteor wiped out all living things on Earth, it it didn't just go back to normal in a week. How the fuck? <laughs> <did it die? laughs> Make this shit make sense. This is what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> you really you really thinking too much into this shit. Yes, because I be thinking about this shit. Because you can't fucking Damn, tell me that we're not fuck. aliens. The, the the human beings are the aliens. I tell hey, yo Safa. I said leave the Bible out of it. I said because if you're if realistically speaking, if you're a Christian, then you're supposed to believe that Jesus. You're supposed to believe the Bible. I said if you take the Bible out the equation. If you take the Bible out the equation, this I believe we're aliens. Okay, well, how about this? How about this? Okay, I put it to this way. How about this? You want to take it a step further? How you know that Jesus ain't a god of all the other planets? I put it to this way, right? How you know that the people who wrote the Bible weren't the motherfuckers that annihilated them damn dinosaurs? How you know that shit? Maybe you <laughs> see. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You can't tell me that human beings was walking the earth with dinosaurs and all the dinosaurs got killed, but the human beings survived off of off, off, off fucking nothing. Because if, if, if a meteor melt the whole earth, that means there's no trees, there's no cattle, there's no meat, there's nothing for people to eat. Nothing. So there was no meteor to hit the earth. Human beings travel to the earth annihilated all the fucking dinosaurs and <laughs> built this bitch. That's what happened. So we're not, there's no such thing as aliens. Where are the fucking aliens, damn it? This ain't our planet. I can't wait to see our home planet one day. Whenever we make contact, whenever the aliens um really come down to Earth and they look like us, I'm fucking laughing at everybody. Before my brain get melted, before whatever happens, <laughs> I'm letting y'all motherfuckers know I was right. Letting y'all know. Because y'all got to, here's the thing. I ask the question, why? You got to understand. I ask why. Y'all got to ask why sometimes. Y'all sit here and believe shit. Don't believe everything you're told. Don't. Don't believe everything you told. Make it make sense. Do your own research. You see, the thing with me is I'm still able to believe in Jesus and the Bible and still question dinosaurs and other shit. Some people can't do that. I could believe in Jesus, but still ask my questions. You know what I'm saying? I can do both. Some people can't do both. I'm just saying, if you leave the Bible out of it, if you just take away the Bible and ask yourself a question, how the fuck did we know a meteor knocked out dinosaurs? 
What the fuck you mean we found fossils? How the fuck a fossil tell you a meteor knocked out a damn dinosaur race? How? <laughs> we found a damn fossil. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, Fist, we found a fossil. That fossil, it explains how millions of 30-foot tall dinosaurs got wiped out from the planet. Get the fuck out of here, bro. A fossil. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we found a fossil. Oh, sword, throw a pick, you piece of shit. So let me get it straight. We can find a fossil, right? So we can find a fossil, but we can't explain how the Egyptians built them damn pyramids. So we could tell that we could tell a meteor knocked out a whole race of dinosaurs from a fossil, but we can't go to Egypt right now and explain how they built them pyramids with sand and fucking stones. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, bro. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> I'm just, because they, they are talking about this? because they brought it up now I'm gonna shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah clearly who the hell brought this up because they brought it up and now I won't shut the fuck up <laughs> yo Arius Arius you're not understanding what I'm saying so when did human beings come to the earth when? How do we get here? I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Now, listen. I believe in God, and I don't want to get struck by lightning. But according to that Bible, God forgives all, right? So hypothetically speaking, what if this, what if the man who created us, oh, don't you fucking dare say we evolved from apes. Don't get cursed. <laughs> don't you fucking get cursed out, Sherm. I don't want to hear that shit. But hypothetically hey, speaking, right? let's just say, I don't even want to say. All I'm going to say is this. At the end of the day, we evolved from apes. Get the fuck. Well, what, what, where the fuck were the apes when that damn meteor hit then? Explain that shit. Where they come from? <laughs> When that fucking meteor hit, then damn it. Y'all gotta make this shit make sense. Y'all gotta explain this shit to me. Y'all not explaining this shit to me. Shout out to Mac Ultra. Mac Ultra says the pyramids can't even be remade. That's what I'm saying. We in the year 2020 and they couldn't even, they can't even redo them pyramids. Let that sink in. That's we, are, we are a way, allegedly, I repeat, allegedly. We are a way more advanced civilization. We couldn't even rebuild them pyramids with with stones and water and shit. We couldn't do it. You could go get the greatest architects. You could get the greatest engineers on the fucking planet. And they could not build them pyramids with stones, water, and fucking clay. They couldn't do it. They couldn't that's, do yeah, it. That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty well. If you ask human beings to rebuild them pyramids, they're going to get some metal. They're going to get some fucking um, whatever they build uh, buildings out of uh, steel. They're going to get all kind of shit. They can't build it the way it was built 2,000 years ago. They can't. Nope. Shout out the Grand Minister. Shout out the Grand Minister Little Drop Cart. Shout out to him. He super chatted $5. He didn't answer a question, but shout out to him. Shout out to Alex Wash. Lamar got hurt, Alex. I don't know what happened to Lamar, but he got hurt. Um, I don't he's know. Period that... cramps. He got cramps. He does. Are you he's having period cramps? Or... No, I'm dead serious. He's got cramps. Oh, he got cramps. Well, then he been yeah, running. I, on... I mean, I, I, I'm joking about the period part, but not the fact he has cramps. Well, he definitely been running all fucking night though. Shout out to Jesse. Jesse didn't super. Jesse didn't ask me nothing, but shout out to Jesse. Jesse said, "Fuck Hollywood." <laughs> Jesse said, "Fuck." Jesse, Jesse said, "Fuck Hollywood." Ravens flock. I'm pissed. Oh good. Hope, oh good. Hopefully they about to give the ball back to Cleveland. Let Chubb do yeah, some work. Please give the ball back to Cleveland. Shout out to Giants Nation. Giants Nation said, "Fish, you're tripping." I be the first to tell you I don't believe in science, but you're taking light, like you're taking, you're talking like a homeless guy in a coffee shop talking to yourself. Giants Nation, 
Answer the question. <laughs> I'm asking y'all questions. You can't call me crazy if you can't answer my question. That's all I'm saying. You can't call me crazy if you can't answer my question. Make meteors knocking out a whole race of dinosaurs make sense. Please make that whole scenario make sense. And I'll shut the fuck up. Somebody explain that meteor wiping out a whole race of dinosaurs and then he, 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 human beings and apes, whatever the fuck you want to call us, explain how we got here. Explain how we Damn. know that shit. I mean, it, I'm, yeah, man, please. Shout out to Grand, shout out to Grand Minister Lil Drop Cat. He says, Fist going to have a baby mama alien. You ain't lying, bro. I fucked the shit out of the <laughs> alien. Let an alien come down here looking like my favorite porn star or some shit. She gonna. I get would. T- I would too. Just. I would too. Just to say we did it. Yeah. No. I want me. I want to have me a Super Saiyan baby. Oh, look at baby. Look at baby fish. Look at him. Look at his hair turn gold and he fly and go smack somebody. Fuck out of here. Have me a Super Saiyan fish. Have me a little boy turn his ass Super Saiyan. Shout out to I. <clears throat> shout out to IDA Gaming. IDA Gaming says your fisk. Human humans evolved from mango chimps who began to use their feet more often. Modern life comes from organisms in the ocean during the Great Ice Age. Okay, so I IDA gaming. I'm gonna ask you the same thing I asked the motherfuckers that said we evolved from apes. Where did mango <laughs> chimps come from? Where did we come from? How did human life form after the meteor knocked out the dinosaurs? Another question. How do you know about an ice age if you weren't fucking there to document it? If human beings weren't there to document it, how the fuck do we know what happened? Who, who, how? We know the Greeks happened. We know Egypt happened. We know the Bible times happened because we were here to document it. Anything that happened before that, how the fuck do you know it happened? Y'all not asking the right questions. Y'all are trying to explain a question. How you going to explain a question? You explain answers. You don't explain questions. Duh. Y'all are trying to explain a question. I asked y'all a question. How do we know? Answer the fucking question. You trying to explain. You trying to give me answers to shit I didn't ask you. Shout out to Adrian. Adrian said, why are we talking about aliens? Be- because two things happened. Because the aliens have been trending lately. And somebody in my... When I went live on my Giants channel early, why did they go for it? No! Hollywood, please score. Please score so Cleveland get the ball back. Thank God. He Thank scored? God. Yes. All right, Cleveland's going to oh, get the ball Oh, shit. We in business. Yeah, we in business. All right, Cleveland's going to get the ball back. Nah, it ain't just because they've been stupid... Because they've been super chatting me alien questions. That's why. Shout out to <laughs> T2, T2 says Ravens oh. defense. Re, Ravens defense selling me, selling me. Well, boys, it was fun. Hey, bro. I'm telling you what, bro. It, Baker Mayfield, go get your $30 million. That's all I'm going to say. Baker Mayfield, Monday Night Football, down a touchdown to the Ravens. This is where you make thirty million dollars, and this is where you give the ball to Jarvis Landry and Nick Chubb a lot. Exactly. This is where you make your money at. Shout out to Mac Ultra. Mac Ultra says LMAO. They really believe what their teachers taught them. Yeah, they really believe what them dumbass teachers taught them in a book. Who wrote them books? What are the people who wrote them books want you to believe? Think about it. Are they going for two? Okay, good. This where we might get an overtime. Okay. Oh, damn. Good hit. Yeah, we want. Oh, yeah. So Cleveland score. We're going to get an overtime. Yeah, let's go. All right. Let's get it. Shout out to Titan Omega Music. He says between T100, T1000, the CEO, and talking about Android 18 and Kleffler among being among us, this got to be the wildest back to back streams ever. Yeah. Like I said, are y'all not entertained? You want y'all ain't. <laughs> It is never a dull moment in a Fist Vegas live stream. It is never a fucking dull moment. And don't forget, nah, we spammed Cold Raven chat and it made him look like a bitch. So don't forget, we exposed Cold Raven too. So we been we 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 on our shit right now. Oh, shout Lord. out, to, shout out to Game Day Tampa. 
He says, but if your theory is true, what happened to the evidence like the spaceships and e and equip? Have you heard of Area 51? Hold on. Game day Tampa. I'll do you one better. Why can't nobody go to Antarctica? Have you noticed that? Why can't why can't we go there? Why can't nobody go visit all of Antarctica right now? What's over there? Why they don't want us to know? I rest my case. You can't you can't go to Antarctica? No, there's places in Antarctica you can't go. Oh, wow. There, there's literally places you can't go. Shout out to Eric Carson. Same thing about the universe being born on or, or other planets being discovered. How was the Earth created? How was the universe get here? Because here's the thing you gotta understand. I believe there's a creator of all. My whole thing is this. The, the creator of all might not have created us on this planet. It may have originated somewhere else. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to explain, y'all. So check this out, right? Who's like one of the most popular, the, the one of the most popular pastors on the planet is Joe Osteen, right? I'm going to give you a line from Joe Osteen. You know, how, you know how Joe Osteen always says God is the creator of the universe? Has that, has that ever just stuck? St has that ever, have you ever noticed how weird that is? He always called God the creator of the universe. He never called God the creator of Earth. He said God has created a universe. Maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just saying. Shout out to Jesse. Jesse said, Hollywood, I forgive you. You better forgive Hollywood after that touchdown. Yeah, that no touchdown. sure. That touchdown was mean. Yeah. Giants, Giants Nation says, Fist, this is what they want. So you're away from God. But hey, you, can, please, you can believe in Please tell me he threw the Jarvis Landry. But you can believe in both. You don't have to. Just because you believe we didn't come from Earth doesn't mean you discredit in the Bible. You, we could have brought the Bible from another planet. God damn it! You don't know. I'm just saying, like you don't know. But like I said, if you, if you, but here's the thing, though: if you take religion out the equation, here's the thing: if you're religious, you're not supposed to believe this shit. If you're religious, you're not supposed to believe this shit. But what I'm saying is, if you take religion out the, if you, if you take religion out the equation. These are valid questions. I'm going to be honest with you. If you're religious, you shouldn't be believing in dinosaurs. If you're religious, you shouldn't be believing nothing that happened before that damn Bible. Nothing. Technically. Yeah. And another thing. I don't want to question the Bible, but the people who wrote the Bible, were they there when God created Adam and Eve? Who was there to see that shit? Oh my god. <laughs> Keep it in a hundred with you. Somebody really put in stay <laughs> off the weed. <laughs> I want to listen to God must have a good conversation with somebody. God he must have set somebody down and said, Look, here's a little story about how I created the earth. Come on, Baker. Shout out to Grand Man, little drop cat. He says, by the way, by the way, it's King Savage Kula. Man, what the fuck? King Savage, man. What the fuck you changed your name for, bro? I ain't gonna remember that shit. I ain't know that was Andrew, you. I know, that, I know that didn't give me no damn three points, no, 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 wait, I think that's Chubb. Time out. What was that? No, that's Kareem Hunt. Oh, fuck. Shout out to IDA Gaming. IDA Gaming says, we check. I'll just see Murray throw. I'll go ahead. He says, we check glacier patterns to check Earth's temperature at the time. Ice age happened after a meteor and powerful volcanic activity killing all dinosaurs. Fossils remained, and Kareem Hunt just fucked your life up. Fossils remained, and clouds of ash froze the Earth. Kareem Hunt like, like a 30-yard touchdown catch. Run God off. damn it. He, well, well, we got overtime. You know, yeah, we got over. Hopefully, Lamar Jackson might roll down the field and fuck your life up again. I mean, got a minute to score. They better, they better give him fucking period cramps again. Uh, he got a whole minute to score. IDA, how do you know, bro? You're not getting what I'm saying. You're not understanding IDA. Where's the proof? What human being saw this shit happen? If we didn't have scientists on the ground evaluating this, how do you know what happened? Damn it. You're not understanding what I'm saying. 
Shout out to Giants Nation. Evolution is fake science. Is the fake? Is the Bible is true? Evolution's is fake science. Is fake. Oh my yeah. god. We ain't come from fuck, bro. We ain't come from apes. This whole we came from apes is bullshit. We ain't come from the fucking apes. Yo, two fucking points. Actually, not even two points. Well, hopefully they reverse the touchdown. They reverse the touchdown. They can just give it the um, chub. Oh, please. please. I don't Please. think they're gonna reverse it though. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Nah, he scored. Shout out yeah, to he, Sofly he Looney. God damn it. Sofly Looney says, Hey yo, fifth, what platform you use record your content on before you post it on YouTube? What platform do I use? I use a microphone. I don't know what you mean by what platform you use to re- I don't get what you mean. Hey yo, Looney. I just put, I got a blue ice microphone. I just plugged it into my computer. Your computer should automatically come with a um a recording program on it. It should. I use voice recorder on my computer. It's your your your, your, your laptop or whatever. It's already come with an app on it. Ah shit! Um, no, that's me down. Fuck. Yo, the chat is moving crazy right now. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Just trying to make sure I miss nobody. Super chat. And like I said, I'm a religious dude. I believe in Jesus and all that shit. I'm just saying, you got to ask yourself these questions, though. You just can't You just can't be a sheep and just believe what you're told. You have to be able to do your research and ask these questions. You do. And also, just because just you're a Christian, there's nothing wrong with... There's nothing wrong with going to read in the Jewish Bible. Just because you're a Jewish doesn't mean you can't go read the Quran. There's nothing wrong with reading multiple Bibles to get all your information. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just, it's, it's really nothing wrong with that. Is Yo, I just, y'all, got, y- y'all better stop fucking around. He better not miss this damn kick. Yeah, he be. He ain't gonna miss the damn PAT jacket off you good. But, um... I'm just I'm just keeping it a hundred with y'all. I'm not scared to ask questions, and I believe with all of my heart that we are aliens. I truly believe that shit. Somebody gotta explain to me them that dinosaur bullshit. Cause I mean for real. Somebody gotta explain that. <laughs> I'm still waiting on somebody to explain that shit to me. Dinosaurs and ice ages. And let me ask you another question since y'all want to keep it up, but since you really want me to get into my bag right now. If y'all really want me to get into my bag, can somebody, stop. can somebody please explain to me how the fuck we know cavemen invented fire? Make that make sense. Yeah, you ever thought about that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, think about oh, it. Oh, God, thank fucking God. Oh, we evolved from apes. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Where the apes come from? If that meteor wiped out 30 foot dinosaurs, but, that, and but, that's a what, ape. but that's like reverse from Planet of the Apes. Ain't they supposed to? Ain't we supposed to evolve into the apes? That's a good point. Never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but here's the thing. I'm just I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get y'all to open your mind up. It may sound like, and don't ever call me Fisk Irvin. I, I'm not Kyrie Irvin. Do not ever call me Fisk Irvin. Oh my thing. god! <laughs> don't ever call me Fisk Irvin. I don't like that name. Don't don't associate me with Kyrie Irvin. Fuck that. But, but I gotta. <laughs> Damn. You gotta he ask said, these questions. Irving. <laughs> Y'all really gotta ask these fucking questions. Shout out to Mac Ultra. Mac Ultra says the whole angels thing is scary as fuck. I don't know what you mean, bro. The um, angels thing. The no, angels are supposed to be, you know, good things. They're supposed to watch your back. Shout out the uh shout out the Grand Minister. Uh, yo, you gotta change that fucking name. I'm not trying to read five names, bro. You're fucking bugging. This is not Game of Thrones <laughs> where, where I introduce you with six names, bro. We're not doing that. Uh, shout out to the Grand. Grand says, I heard in the Bible that the war in the Middle East is never going to stop. Probably not. Probably I, not. Probably not. They motherfuckers stay fighting. Word. Yeah, oh, Lamar Jackson about to fucking score, bro. 
No, they he can't guard a tight end. Oh my gosh, they really cannot guard a fucking tight end. I'm just asking the questions that y'all want. I'm just trying to open your mind. I'm trying to broaden your horizon. Ask yourself these questions. Like, y'all just think that shit is sweet out here. Shit ain't sweet. It's not fucking sweet out here. Y'all just live in this world where y'all just go with the y'all just go with status quo. I don't go with the status quo. I ask questions. I want to know shit. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Come on. I want to know shit. I cannot lose by no damn two points. Yeah, that's no, that's your fucking fault because you should have fucking started Jonathan Taylor. Man, fuck off. You know you should have. How you gonna start a fucking wide receiver with Jonathan Taylor? How? I didn't think Debo Samuel would get me no points. But Debo Samuel wasn't going to outscore Jonathan Taylor versus the fucking Raiders. Bro, it don't matter. If he would have caught a fucking five-yard pass, I'd be good. It ain't about you being good. It's about the principle. The principle is you got 33 points in on your fucking bench. I could have literally played anybody besides Debo, and I you know what, I would have won. This is what you get, because you should have took my fucking trade. You should have took my fucking trade. I tried oh, my to God. Here we go with this bullshit again. I tried to give you Deontay Johnson. I tried to give you Brandon Cooks. I tried to give you mad wide receivers, and you said no. That's why you stuck picking between them bullshit Jaguar receivers and fucking Debo Samuel. Because you could, you should have took my damn trade. You could have had some <laughs> fucking receivers right now, but you ain't want to do it. No, I don't want to trade with Fisk. I don't want to give Fisk. Because you wanted the Red Ranger. No, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about when I wanted to get Travis Kelsey and Nick Chubb off IR. I wanted Nick Chubb three weeks before he fucking came back. You wouldn't do and it. Nick Ch- and Nick Chubb almost about to save me in this game. I they know. Get the fucking ball back. But, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just fuck it. Shout out to Mac Ultra. <laughs> Mac Ultra says, nah, angels are really terrifying. That's why they say fear not when they approach and clap thousands of humans in the Bible. Damn, that's some scary shit. Well, if you a sinner, prepare to get clapped. And somebody wrote Red Ranger in the chat. If you if you if you a sinner, prepare to get clapped. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what else to fucking tell you. Oh, he didn't get out of bounds. He didn't get out of bounds. Come on. Look, at the end of the day, y'all. Ask yourself the fucking questions. Justin Tucker got to make this shit. It's a long-ass kick. This ain't no short kick, bro. Justin Tucker about to kick like a 58-yard. Oh, my God. Please, miss you piece of shit. Um, shout out to... How long is a kick? Yo, Monday Night Football, do your fucking job and tell me how long this fucking kick is. I think it's... Oh, 55 yards? Oh, that's game over. Oh, that's game over. Yeah, talk about no, the hit. This come on, no, 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 no. It's Please been real, tagging off. It's been real. No, 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 it hasn't. No, fuck this. No. Justin, talk about the bang this shit. This you sack of shit. Oh, that's game. I'm not even. I'm not even looking at the chat right now. Game. <laughs> game. Justin Tucker. <laughs> Justin fucking Tucker. <laughs> Oh shit. Yo, Baker looks sick right now. Shout out to IDA Gaming. Fitz, I left religion because it's inconsistent. Ask biblical questions like what are the origins of sins in heaven and hell? And how did Moses split the sea? I mean, those are valid questions. Like I said, I believe in God, I believe in the Bible, but you gotta understand the whole point of faith is believing in what you can't see. That's the whole point of having faith. The whole point of having faith is believing in what you can't see. So my answer to all your questions that involve the oh, fuck. is believing in what you cannot see. That's my, that's my you, you're jagging off. You good, bro? Fuck. Yo, jagging off. God damn it. Fuck you, Debo Samuel. I don't know, Jagging off. He kind of got you to the playoffs, though. And remember, Debo, nigga, we needed nine points and Debo in the fourth quarter. He got you that shit. 
Okay, but it don't mean shit now. I was with, I was going to the playoffs regardless because the two because the two dudes that was fighting for the spot ahead of me lost. <sighs> Fuck me! Come on, just throw the damn ball to Jarvis Landry. I'm not gonna lie. If they do, if they throw like a twenty, if, if Jarvis Landry gets you like. 18, 20 points, right? If they do like a two yard, if they do like a twenty yard pass to Jarvis Landry, you win on this shit. This would be legendary. It would this be fucking legendary. It ain't. It ain't go, They ain't gonna do it though. Shout out to Cam. Cam says Cleveland fan. Shut the f up forever. Yeah, you too, LeBron. Hey, 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 hey. Leave LeBron out of this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they would. Thought it's just a fucking chub. I mean, it's a fucking Kareem Hunt. Pick it up, Landry. Run, run, Landry, run. Do I get points for him on a fucking lateral? I don't think so. This is the longest lateral. Yo, y'all can't find nobody open. Damn, bro. yeah, that's a fucking sick. Get the. Oh my gosh. Oh, you might have lost points. That got to be the longest lateral. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all hit that damn like button. Yo, Lamar Jackson owns Cleveland, bro. Oh my god, that shit long. Told you. Oh, he about to go in the end zone and shit. Oh, my God. Damn, jagging off. Close, but no cigar, man. Fuck. <sighs> Damn, jagging off. You lost by 1.8 points. Fucking A. Damn. I'm, I'm, I'm livid. I mean, fuck. Hey. Fuck. You know what the moral is? First, first, first the Gators, then the Jags, and I got to lose in fantasy, too. Like, what the fuck? You know what the moral of the story is, Jack, you know? What? The moral of the story is, is that a grown man crying right now? Oh, wow. Only in Cleveland. Only Cleveland would cry over a regular season loss. But anyway, the moral of the story is this. Next year, Jagging off, don't draft three Jaguar wide receivers. You won't have this fucking problem. Jagging off, the only dude I know in fantasy with three Jaguar wide receivers on his fucking I roster. Dra- I, didn't, I didn't draft three. I drafted yeah. two. They're on your fucking team. They're on your fucking team, bro. <laughs> I know I traded you one of them, but they're on your fucking team. It's the principal. <sighs> I know you sick. I know you sick. You think? And you're jagging off. And Jaguar receivers ain't got nothing to do with this. If I'd have played two of them, I'd have won. And that's my point. That's my fucking point. Shout out to Jaguars Nation. I mean, not Jack. Giants Nation. Giants Nation said it's not big. It's the defense fault. I don't care. Nah, it ain't Baker fault. Definitely on the defense. Defense, you know. Come on, adjust like, adjust like some points or some shit. Oh my god. Yeah, defense definitely. You know, defense definitely dropped the ball. And right. Justin Tucker did Justin Tucker shit. Fifty-five yards. His ass was money. I really, really do wish he would have missed that kick. Because if I'm a, that Ravens dude, I might have to face him in the Super Bowl if, I, if he his team is just fucking hell, bro. I don't want no parts of his fucking team, bro. Ravens, dude. I mean, Redskins. I really wish you would have beat him. Because Jack and I would have whooped your ass in the Super Bowl. So I, I really wish that you would have you would have beat him. I would have beat your ass in the Super Bowl, Jack. You know. Well, you'd have been playing me next week because I'm the lowest seed. But I would have whipped your ass. Nah, you you got this work. My team put up a 160 on the bye week. Yeah, My team, hell on earth. 
<laughs> my team is fucking hell. <laughs> team fucking hell, bro. Shout out to Regime. Regime says, yo, Lamar said that Lamar, yeah, yeah. what? He says, yo, Lamar said that Lamar Jackson slanders will not be tolerated tonight. Superman Jackson to the rescue, Fred. Fuck Lamar Jackson. Where was this shit when I needed it in the regular season of the fantasy, of my fantasy playoffs? This dude, I had, I had thousands of dollars worth of Lamar Jackson lineups and best balls, and now one of them some bitches made the playoffs. Fuck Lamar Jackson, bro. He waits till week fourteen to have a good game. This dude, Lamar Jackson, been trash all year long, <laughs> and he waits till week fourteen to have a good game. He ain't on nobody fantasy playoff teams. None of that shit. Lamar Jackson just had the most irrelevant Monday night football game of all time. He ain't <laughs> help a soul right now. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Lamar Jackson. I ain't trying to hear that shit. I bet <laughs> his ass won't go to like the eighth round next year. Lamar Jackson. Oh, yeah, you took the wrong quarterback. Oh, Jagano, who's still playing? <laughs> Man, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you with a spike dildo. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> oh man. Hey yo, can we all give a thank you to Jagginoff? Shout out to Jagginoff just for the simple fact that Jagginoff wiped out all my enemies. Jagginoff really might be he Jagginoff low key been my most deadly shooter for like three weeks now. This dude <laughs> beat, he beat Lord Brunson. He beat that Raven, that Redskin nigga. He did all my dirty work. Jagginoff did all the fucking dirty work. Jagginoff the the sole reason I got I got a first round buy right now. Shout out to Jagginoff. No, you should send me. You should send me some of that damn. Mo- no, I ain't sending you shit. <laughs> you, you me Travis Kelsey and fucking Nick Chubb, you wouldn't have had this fucking problem. I, mean, I wouldn't have made the playoffs Chubb. if I didn't have if I no, didn't have no, Nick no, Chubb. You could have made the playoffs without Chubb. Because you still would have had fucking um no, no, because I was giving you what you call it. I offered you Joe Mixon, Derrick Henry, or James Conner. You could have picked any one of those three running backs, Brandon Cooks, Deontay oh. Johnson. Brandon Cooks ain't shit. He's better than what the fuck you had the past month. No, he ain't. Yes, he is. Brandon Cooks had a better last Robbie team Anderson. Yeah, besides Robbie Anderson, he's better than Debo Whoa. Samuel and the random Jaguar receivers your ass been starting. And Deontay Johnson's better than them too. You could have had fucking you could have had fucking Derrick Henry. You could have Derrick Henry, Deontay Johnson, and Brandon Cooks. Instead, I can't, have, I, you I, told, I, can't, I can't. I can't have Derrick Henry, bro. I offered you any one of my three running backs when they were healthy. All when they all three of them were healthy, I offered you any one of my three running backs and two wide receivers. No, three wide receivers because Robbie and I offered you Robbie Anderson, Cooks, and Deontay Johnson, and a running back. All I wanted was Kelsey and Nick Chubb. That's it. Nick, do I gotta pull out the DMs? <laughs> do I gotta pull out the fucking DMs? I told you you was gonna regret it, Jagginoff. I told you. Nah, Jagginoff, I gotta take my victory lap on you, son. You my boy, but I I take this victory lap on God you, son. Damn, I could have played Giovanni Bernard in one. Ain't this a bitch? That's what you get, cause I should have fucking Nick Chubb right now, but I don't cause you want to play hardball. Shout out to Broken Lion. Broken Lion says nine and four, and they crying like crying. Make this make sense? Because they're fucking Cleveland. Cleveland don't know how to be nine and four, but they soon they're gonna be nine and five soon. Cause the Giants about to whoop that ass next week. The Giants gonna whoop that ass on Sunday, so they finna be fucking um nine and five. They 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 really finna be nine and five. Oh my goodness! Oh shit! That's why they crying. Because when they lose to the Giants and drop the 9-5, and five, the Ravens going to own the tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Cleveland would be the first team of all time to start out 9-3 and three and miss the playoffs. <laughs> oh, wow. Cle- Cleveland would be the first team in history to start out 9-3 and, and miss the playoffs. This shit going to be hilarious. 
Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be legendary. This is going to be legendary. And I know the Giants gonna win on Sunday. Just it's the most brown shit ever to lose to the Giants on Sunday night football. It's gonna be the most it, brown it, shit it really would be. It really would be. It's gonna be the most brown shit. I'ma love it. The, the 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 collapse of the 2020 Browns. Oh, right, that's gonna be an epic fire and range video. Let these dudes miss well, the playoffs. Well, hopefully, well, hopefully Tennessee will lose out and they miss it instead. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck what Tennessee do long as they hand that ball to Derrick Henry. I don't give a fuck. I do, I do fuck the meth heads. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my boy Derrick Henry, he need to eat. My boy Derrick Henry. Henry. Man, fuck Derrick Henry. Don't be this mad. Little, this little bitch ass. Fuck Derrick Henry. Don't be mad. No, it ain't Derrick Henry. It ain't Derrick Henry for you, bench Jonathan Taylor for fucking DJ Chark. That is we're not, not even. Good. We're not even talking about that. Why do you keep bringing up DJ Chark? It was Debo Samuel. Because DJ Chark was one of your flags. That's why I keep bringing him up. It, it, it doesn't matter. I would have played Chark and and not played Debo. So you were just you just well, one way or the other. Damn it. Well, yeah, either well, yeah, either one. It wouldn't have fucking mattered, but still, you really, don't fucking matter. God, I, I'm, I'm sick. Right I mean, now. just because the Browns play the Jets, all that means is they guaranteed ten wins. That don't guarantee you them a playoff spot. <clears throat> shout out to Joshua Huffman. Joshua Huffman says, and shout out to Joshua Huffman for the twenty five. Joshua Huffman says. How about my Ravens? How about Lamar out there basically catching his own passes? Good lord, was that what was that a big game? I don't th- know since I'm laying on the floor in a pile of burnt furniture and Cheetos. Oh, my man Joshua Huffman was going in the night. <laughs> my, man, yo, my man Joshua Huffman was going in the night, son. He said, he said, broke furniture and Cheetos. My man was going in. Joshua Huffman tore the living room up the night. Shit was not a game in the Joshua Huffman household. <laughs> I just lost by one by by one point. All because of that fucking Kareem Hunt kept man, whatever. It don't matter. This fucking put up a 196. Lamar Jackson really got 38 fantasy points. Ain't that some shit? Oh, I'm happy. Oh, man, I'm happy Deontay Johnson wet the bed. I'd have been sick. Oh, my gosh. I would have been sick watching this game. I'm glad Deontay Johnson didn't even give me a chance. I'd have been fucking sick. Thank you, Deontay Johnson, for sucking last night. Because it hit you. It got me the lead, and I had to watch Lamar Jackson get 38 points. I'd have been fucking sick. I th- I I I'd be fucking sick. Man, Kareem Hunt just need to fucking stop. Just need to fucking get stopped at the one yard line, and then let Nick Chubb run in. Fuck. Oh man. Yo, what up, Zach? Yo, shout out to Zach, man. Zach, my analytic guy. He ain't never in my live streams no more. I don't think Zach like me no more. Zach used to be my analytic dude, always had all the dope stats and shit like that. He don't never come to my live streams no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where Zach be at, bro. Zach don't never come none of my live streams and shit. Yeah, yeah, this this was a bad weekend. You hurt my feelings, Zach. I thought you loved me, Zach. I miss Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack, and I can't even get a fucking win in fantasy playoffs. Come back, Zach. The Fisk unit needs you, Zach. Yo, tell Cole Raven, Fisk Vegas says, suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tonight is legendary. We got to talk about aliens and shit. I got to embarrass. Man, tonight is not legendary. It ain't legendary to you because you ain't want to start Jonathan Taylor, but to most people, it's legendary. Oh my god, fuck off. I'm not letting that shit go because that's unacceptable. Jonathan Taylor is a better player than any one of them fucking wide receivers not named uh Don, Robbie Anderson. Is or Jarvis no- Landry. 
Or yeah, or Jarvis Landry. But he you just like there's just no fucking way. I I I can't I I just can't, bro. I, I can't. Oh man. Now the million dollar question is am I gonna record a reaction to this game? That's the million dollar question. Cause I'm like so tired right now because I remember I did a two hour live stream on the regular Fist Vegas channel. And then I hopped on this motherfucker, and it's just like, bro, big fist voice, man. My throat, man. What about me? And I recorded five videos today. What about me, man? What about big fist? What about my voice? What about my throat? What about my tongue? Pause. (laughs) What about me? Oh, shit. I know one thing though. NFL won't jump a little bit. I'm sorry, but that vaccine got me shook. How the fuck Trump gonna sit there and tell us he ain't gonna take the vaccine, but he hopes that we all take it real soon? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Man, fuck Donald Trump. I mean, how I, mean, like, I, I don't even got no pro. I don't got no beef with Donald Trump. I don't take sides in politics, but that tweet rubbed me the wrong way. You're supposed to be the first motherfucker to take it because you're the leader. Duh. The leader's supposed to be the first person to take it to let everybody else know this shit is okay. The fact that he said nobody in the White House has to take it and he's not going to take it. He wants the American public to take it first. Like, what the fuck? Now, hell nah. Nah, I ain't taking that shit to like June. I want like six months of side effects to be fleshed out so I know what I'm getting into. Yeah, exactly. I ain't taking that shit to like. Fact, I, unless my job requires me to, I'm not taking that shit. Facts. I'm good. I'm good. I'm pretty sure I already had it once. Wait a minute. Hold on. Y'all say, wait a minute. You saying Cold Raven disabled his whole chat because he mad at y'all? <laughs> Damn. Yo, how you gonna go how you gonna live stream without a chat? <laughs> Wait a minute. Time yeah, that's, kinda, that's kinda like the whole purpose. How the fuck you gonna do a live stream without a chat? That's not even fucking possible. No, it's possible. It's just almost pointless. Especially if you're asking people shit. Oh man. Yo. Hey, I know because I accident because because you know I accidentally did a uh, live playthrough game and I didn't disable the com and like I disabled the comments accidentally, so yo, it's Cole, possible. Hey yo, Jack, you know, Cold Raven, the first person I clap without a firing range video. <laughs> he the first person I clap without doing the video. <laughs> well, besides this one, what'd you say? Well, besides this one. Nah, I didn't do a video. No, I didn't. He didn't. He, I really didn't give him one video. No, I mean, no. He, I mean, I mean, mentioned him and mentioning him in this one. Oh no, no. I'm, I mentioned him in the EDP reaction, but I'm talking about I didn't actually give him a video. You know oh, what I'm okay. saying? I, I see I mean, what you're saying. Yeah, I, I didn't actually give him a video. Like he, it's the first dude I I clapped off reputation alone. Like that shit's sad. <laughs> I don't know, you even needed one for me. What'd you say? You even needed a firing range for me. Yeah, because yeah, you had the balls to say my name. He ain't even got the balls to say that. At least at least Jagged Off was like, now fuck that Fist Vegas shit. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? <laughs> he ain't even got the balls to say that. That's the sad part. Yeah, no shit. Shout out um, to Jack. What up? But can we t- but can we take time to appreciate that we finally get another Mortal Kombat movie on August on uh, April sixteenth? I mean, I guess I don't know who the fuck is in it. I ain't seen no trailers or nothing. Well, the trailer's supposed to come out like right at the year, but still, bro, it's a Mortal Kombat movie. Oh no, nah, we definitely lit. I fuck some Mortal Kombat real quick though. Shout out to Zach. Yeah, Zach says Gal Gadot can tie me up any time of her last. So hell no, she can't. Cause she gonna make me tell the truth. But she can get it any time, though. I'm going to have Gardner you rap. as champion of the Elder Gods. Shut the fuck up, Jack. And all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Gail Gadot can wrap them legs around my neck. I'll tell you that much. 
She go ahead and wrap them legs around me. She just can't put oh, me that's, that's, the, that's the bitch that plays Wonder Woman. Yeah, Gail Gadot's the girl who plays Wonder Woman. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can choke me with her legs till I pass out. Facts. She but she ain't she ain't putting that last order of truth around me. You know? She don't need to know the truth. <laughs> don't no woman need to know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Never yeah. tell a woman the truth, fellas. Never do it. <laughs> no woman need to really know the truth. <clears throat> now, hey, yo, but jacking off. Since you're a big Mortal Kombat fan, have you ever heard of um? Have you ever been on YouTube and watched the history of Mortal Kombat documentary? Um, God, I'm trying. I know, it's of a, I know of a dude named I know of a dude named uh, History Behind the Warrior. Um, nah, it's not him. The- I think okay. his name is called Twenty Three. Oh, you gotta send that. You gotta send that to me. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm gonna send it to you now, bro. It's like it's literally the. It's like my favorite documentary. I fuck. I, I'm actually gonna watch this. I'm actually gonna fall asleep to this shit tonight. Matter of fact, yeah, you send it to me. Combat shit. Oh, and by the way, Nath- Nathaniel Taylor, Taylor. Yes, I actually own Scorpion's Revenge. Shit was fucking brilliant. Okay, yeah, it's from Six One Six Entertainment. It's two. It's um two and a half hours. It's the greatest documentary on fucking YouTube, bro. Yeah, um, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Send me that. Oh, and Nathaniel Taylor. I'd say it's. I'd say it's deception. If we're talking the three D era. Okay, I'm about to say we all know the greatest Mortal Kombat of all time is on um, Mortal Kombat trilogy on PS One. Facts. Only the well, PS One well, version well, though. Well, actually, I got it on Nintendo 64, and it's bad. That was the whack version, because I had it on N64. How the fuck is it the whack version? It's the same okay. damn game. No, it's not. Okay, let me explain something to you, Jack. Besides, chame- besides Chameleon being male or female. You know, it was more than Chameleon. Great. There was like 10 extra characters on the PlayStation version, son. It was like 10 extra characters and like 10 extra boards on the PlayStation version. Because check this out. All right, so when I was young, right, jacking off, my mm-hmm. parents didn't buy me PlayStation because they didn't think I was mature enough for the disc. Uh, so I had an N64 because they didn't, it was a cartridge. They, my parents didn't think I was mature enough to have a PlayStation. Damn. So when I lived in New York, I lived in New York at the time. I lived in my, my cousins, my cousins, Bam and Cuckoo, they had PlayStations. And when Bam and Cuckoo would come to my grandmama house, they would bring their PlayStation. And when they popped their Mortal Kombat trilogy on the PlayStation, bro, they had like 10 extra characters. You could YouTube the shit now. Mortal Kombat trilogy on PlayStation had like ten extra characters, and it had like ten extra boards. What ten extra characters, bro? YouTube it. You could look at the you could look at the character select screen on the PlayStation trilogy on PlayStation on Mortal Kombat trilogy. Look at the character select screen. There's like ten extra characters. Than the N64 version. This is facts. I mean, did this, I mean did this version have like Kentaro and Shao Kahn in it? All that shit. Okay. The N64 okay. version didn't have none of that. Yo, you know what I really want to find though? It's this. It, it, I've seen videos of playthroughs of this dude of like these dudes that do Mugen Mortal Kombat games. It's like it's like basically Mortal Kombat trilogy, but with, with like a shit ton of different characters, like newer characters and like characters people made up. Yo, that shit looks dope. Yo, Cole Raven's so pussy. He won't even say my name in the live stream. How pussy yeah. do you really need to be? Oh Nathaniel, Ta- oh, Nathaniel Taylor, I appreciate that. And um, during the off season, I'm gonna break out my PS2 and do and do um, MK3 era playthroughs. Like I have one of Mortal Kombat trilogy. Nah, I stopped with Mortal Kombat when it went when it went 3D. Well, it's not. Well, well, it's not. It's not like that no more. Like it's different now. The last Mortal Kombat I bought was um on on PS2. What was it? Deadly Alliance, where they snapped Liu Kang neck in the fucking opener. Yeah, yeah, that was the last Mortal Kombat I bought. That's like twenty years ago. Oh my god, bro! You should... Those were good games, though. I mean, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I mean, all... Deadly Alliance was straight, but like, I missed the two D version. I never thought Mortal Kombat was a good three D game. Well, it might oh, be. It's, good well, now. It's, well, it's yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's really not now, other than like the fucking um. Fatal Blows and shit on Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat should have stayed 2D, just like Street Fighter. 
It, 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 it that's what I'm saying. It that's what I'm saying. It is now, except you know when you do a fatal blow, they'll do like three D shit and like fatalities and shit like that. But like for but like when you're just fighting, it's a it's a two D shit. Yeah, like I um shout out to uh like nine like X and um elevens like that. Shout out to Cam. Cam says Lamar left to take his take his take a shit. Came back and won. <laughs> <laughs> he really did though. That shit was fucking hilarious. This is Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson came back out the tunnel like Paul Pierce in the finals or some shit like that. Oh my god. Nah, yeah, I heard of Chisel the Donis. He a funny ass dude. Yeah, Chisel the Donis is funny as shit. Um. Uh, Ain't no fucking slaughterhouse, bro. He not gonna say my fucking... He's not built for it. He not. That dude... He, he never even diss EDP, really. He just made exposed videos. Oh, EDP, you're talking to minors. <laughs> EDP. But yeah, man. That shit, but yeah, man. That shit got old. As much as I would love EDP to just go the fuck away, like, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah. Especially, like... And then I'm saying... And then I, I told you... I sat there and I was DMing with EDP because EDP wanted me to clap Cole Raven. I told EDP, all he got to do is say my name and I'm going to catch a fucking body. I, already t- I told EDP, he got- I'm waiting on him to say my name and I'll fucking wreck his ass. EDP was like, yo, fish, you going to line him up for me? I was like, I got you. As soon as he said my name, I'm clapping the shit out of him. But well, EDP, cut. he sent cut. me the DM. <laughs> EDP sent me pictures of grown-ass men with fake ass teenage girl accounts DMing him all day long. There's literally grown men creating fake teenage girl accounts to DM EDP. They trying to get EDP caught up, bro. Yeah, they, they try. Trying. Yeah, they're trying, bro. They should have said. Yeah. Oh, but by the oh, but by the way, Kodal Khan ain't the goat, Sherm. Who the fuck is Kodal Khan? I don't even know the Kodal fuck. Khan, Kodal Khan was in the last was in the last two games. Um when Shao Kahn died, this asshole took out of took um over ruling out world, but you know, the last two games he's kind of a fucking disgrace. Like um Shao Kahn cut his head off in Mortal Kombat Aftermath. Oh, okay. That's that's a lot of shit. Yeah, like you gotta like look at the you gotta look at the last two days. Yes, Shaolin Monks was great. Yeah, yeah, I really talked to EDP. <laughs> EDP is a good dude. EDP actually cheered me up when I got banned from Twitter, bro. He cheered me up. <laughs> he was one of the first people I talked to when I got banned from Twitter. That shit was. But you've, made, but you've made your triumphant return to Twitter. Yes, I have. Bully Fisk is back on Twitter. <laughs> I could, they could, they could, they, they can't keep, can't keep a good man down, baby. Damn, this bitch I went to high school with, fine as fuck. Ain't too many of them, I'll tell you that much. A lot of them bitches got old, fat, and got like five kids. Facts, bro. It's it's tough that um, it's tough it's tough to find somebody without a damn kid. Like the one I'm messing with got three fucking kids. And that's why I'm only fucking like twenty five year olds, bro. Bro, even they got kids. Yeah, but the odds of them not having kids is higher than like the girl I'm missing with twenty seven. Yeah, but that's still a, that's still like I got that's still like baby having age though. Like if you get them like when they like twenty five, twenty six, they sometimes the the odds of them not having a kid are higher. You know what yeah, I'm saying? When you get to like twenty seven to thirty, they all got fucking kids. <clears throat> Shout out to Theo. Theo says. The last fighting game I played with Dragon Ball Z Budokai Three, that was the greatest. That was the greatest Dragon Ball Z fighting game of all time. Can not fuck with Budokai Three? I love Budokai Three to this day. If they ported Budokai Three on Xbox, I buy that shit right now. I love Budokai Three. Shout out to Sebastian. He says, "Stop hating on EDP for making it on YouTube. Hard work." That's what I'm saying, Sebastian. That's why I can't fucking stand that Cole Raven dude. That dude EDP worked his ass off for his two million subscribers, and you got some little fuck nigga with a thousand subs trying to ruin this dude career. Like that shit bothers the fuck out of me. Shout out to DJ Smooth. DJ Smooth says, "We sure DJ gonna win against them too?" 
Oh, he can definitely be. Listen, here's the thing. Our D, it, DJ, it ain't about DJ. It's about the defense. Which one of these teams is going to move the ball on us constantly? I'm like, our defense is good. All Daniel Jones got to do is put up 20. We can beat both of them, period. Our defense ain't giving up 20 points to Lamar Jackson. It's, it's not going to happen. Cleveland, our defense ain't giving up more than 20 points to Cleveland. All Daniel Jones got to score is 20, and we got a chance to win both games. Literally. Our defense is hell. It, it's not It's not about Daniel Jones because our offense is ass. I don't care how good Daniel Jones plays. He's still throwing the bums. Daniel Jones can go out there throwing Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers passes. It's still bums. The bums still got to catch him. So at the end of the day, it's not about Daniel Jones. It's about the defense. And our defense ain't trying to – our defense – yeah, I can say what you want about – and you can say what you want about Daniel Jones, but our defense is, is legit. Our defense is the shit. Our defense is not going to have it. <clears throat> oh, Fitz, how you going to stop Tom Brady? Shut that shit down. How you going to stop Russell Wilson? Shut that shit down. Even Dak Bortles' ass was shut down for the whole two and a half quarters he played. It's like every the giant, Bortles. <laughs> giant defense shut shit down. <sighs> Oh my gosh! I tell you what, ain't nobody fucking with my live streams, man. Yeah, I got the best live streams on YouTube. You, I know all y'all be in everybody live stream. Who live streams y'all had the most fun in, man? Can't nobody fuck on my live streams, bro. I got the best live streams on YouTube. Can't nobody fuck on my live streams, man. My live streams is fucking legendary, bro. Right, man. Legendary shit be happening in my live streams, man. <laughs> uh, legendary shit. Legendary shit be happening in my live streams, man. Yeah. I'm telling you. It's like we got on we got on tap this Sunday. Um, well, Sunday night, the Giants are playing uh he says so I actually, can't pull a Lamar. So you actually, so actually going to do a Sunday night football game? Yeah, because it's the Giants. But okay. he says, um, Lamar Jackson says, I didn't pull a Paul Pierce. I was cramping. <laughs> oh, dear, he had period cramps. Yo, what a way to take a shot at Paul Pierce, though. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Yo, so what you trying to say? Paul Pierce is faking his injury or something? <laughs> What are you trying to say? Well, if he was faking an injury, he was pulling a Jalen Ramsey. I'm not. We're not getting into this. But anyway, because hey, once you start I'm talking about former Jaguar players, I'm fuck him. This. You know what I'm saying? I fuck um, him. I hope he, I hope he gets AIDS. Anyway, shit. Tune in. in. Sunday night doing Jag with not your fuck Jags. We're doing fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday night we're doing the Cleveland. You know, that's, you know that's how this whole you know how that's the whole how the that's how the whole how that whole thing got started with us. She was talking shit about Minshew. I was yeah, I that's how that's how the that's how the video started. You did a firing range with Garner Minshew. That's what got you mad at me. I lined up Gardner Minshew. That's yes. why you mad at Big Fisk. Yes, I had. Yeah, I, I had to. Come, I had to come through and defend my dog, bro. Look, man. When y'all gonna learn, y'all? Just let Big Fisk talk <laughs> this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't worth it. No, no, no. <laughs> like I said, Cold Raven learned from y'all mistakes. That's what happened. I guess Cold he did, Raven. bro. He learned, especially, you know what it was? Especially RTP. I did RTP the worst. I clapped RTP on YouTube and Twitch. That <laughs> came into my Twitch stream. That was my first ever live fire range of when I lined up punk-ass RTP. I was on like a 35-game winning streak in Madden, and that motherfucker wait till I lose to start talking shit to me in a Twitch stream. <laughs> Hell nah, fuck that shit. I was mad as a motherfucker. I was not trying to have that shit. 
Yeah, I remember. Shout out to Andre. He says, Ravens saved my Steelers' ass tonight. Yeah, they really did. They really did. Ravens did the Steelers a big favor. But nah, what I was going to say imagine, was... Imagine saying that. Yeah, imagine saying that shit. But um, nah, what I was going to say was nah. Um, who else plays on Sunday, Jagged on? I know Sunday night, I'm doing the Giants well, game. We, well, we got, well, we got the Gavins. So... Which is per which personal to me. So Oh, we got a we got a um we got a Thursday game. So I'm gonna be live. I there's, might, some Saturday, there's some Saturday games too, I believe. They both trash, but I might do the Panther one because it's Aaron Rodgers. I might pop up for the second half of the Saturday game. I don't know. I might I might be fucking that day, so um I might literally only do the Giants game that night. Just for the simple fact that oh no, the Saints and the Chiefs. I forgot. So 4 30, I'll be, be okay. So 4 30, we gotta, 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 gotta go live for the Red Ranger. Yeah, so we're gonna go live for the red the second half of the Red Ranger game, and then we're gonna be live for the second. For, I don't know, I might do the whole bro, game of the Giants. Bro, bro, Red Ranger has to be in the title of the video, and you have to put the you have to put the you have to put the you gotta put the fucking gif as your background. I'm <laughs> is not that, is that good that good gif good. going the whole fucking street? <laughs> I'm not putting no Red Ranger in my fucking thing. It's got it's got to be done, Fisk. I'm not doing it's it. It's got to be done, Fisk. It's not happening. <laughs> I refuse. Come on. Nah, Come on, I'm not doing I, no I, I've had such a bad weekend, bro. Just do it. I'm not and, doing and it. I got you the number one seed in fantasy. Really? Bro. You pulling that favor already? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> favor already. Yes. How about this? I do you a favor. I do you a favor. Here, here's what I'll do. We'll experiment. I will call. Wait, I, will attempt. Pause. <laughs> I will attempt. Okay. I will make an attempt to call him the Red Ranger in all my Chiefs videos this week. And I will see how it rolls off the tongue. I'll see how I like it. I'll make an attempt. I will call him the Red Ranger. All week, because it's probably going to get like three Chiefs videos this week because he's playing the Saints. So oh, okay. it'd be some, there'd be some Red Ranger content, and I'll see how I go. I'll see how I go. Well, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll meet you well, half. You, well, you, well, you, you said his name in one of the, in one video you did, so it worked. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> there will be no early game, y'all. It's not going to be an early game because. All the early <laughs> so demand, right, right, <laughs> Y'all get on my damn nerves. Every time I'm in here, I get a fucking trend going in your goddamn chat box. Fucking Red Ranger shit. <laughs> Y'all need to go fucking subscribe to Jagano channel. Y'all like all this Red Ranger bullshit. You need to well, go I, don't bring, to I, don't, I don't bring up the Red Ranger. I'm talking about the Jags. Well, you need to sort of broaden in her, your horizon because your team is trash. Your team is garbage. Go start talking about the Red Rangers and shit like that. <laughs> Jaguar. Jaguar fans don't even want to follow a Jaguar YouTube for what? So we so yeah. we can cry every yeah. Sunday about how bad we suck. We're gonna cry together. That's like what I'm here for. Some video or something. That's what I'm here for. These motherfuckers be having therapy sessions every damn Sunday. How we lose this I, week. I, I need to, I need therapy <laughs> after this season. <laughs> And then, so the icing, on, and then the ice, and then the icing on the cake was this asshole throwing his fucking shoe in the Florida game and cost us that shit. You need a hug, Jack and all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I so need hug and I need I need hug in Fisk Vegas videos with the Red Ranger gift. Every fucking go. So we have learned this week. <laughs> Yeah. Jaganov <laughs> lost every fucking thing he could think of this week. All right, we I learned did. that Cold. We learned that um, Cold Raven is is a bitch times ten. He's super saying he's saying <laughs> bitch level four. 
he, Cole Raven is an ultra instinct bitch. <laughs> he ultra instinct bitch. His, he, 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 damn, he, damn, he, he turning 30 tomorrow? Shit, I'm surprised he made it to 30. Hey, hey some people meant to be fat, so he, he just might be supposed to be that way. And I mean, um, I guess. we I learned guess. that. Um, we also learned that we are aliens and we came from another planet. Oh, shit. We, all the dinosaurs. <laughs> we, lo- we learned that we evolved from apes. <laughs> we ain't evolved from no fucking apes. We came from like <laughs> Jupiter or some shit like that. And we took this group, little fucking earth planet over. That's what happened. All right. So we took oh, over. Earth. Um, what else did we learn? Oh, God. CEO top dog clapped the shit out of Terminator. We, that that happened. Um, you to be terminated. Cleveland is still Cleveland. They can't do shit right when it matters. Fucking uh, that. yeah. Even even winning a fantasy game. Fucking assholes. Jaganov <laughs> caught the biggest L on the planet because he benched Jonathan Taylor for Debo oh, Sanders. Fuck off. Um, God, I'm I'm, st- I'm still sick about that. I'm gonna be sick about that all week. And you should be. You fucking should be. <laughs> Yo, I'm desert. Yo, look, man. I want all y'all to go to bed thinking about my my sermon on aliens. And <laughs> y'all need to really go to bed thinking about that shit. It'll change your life. It will. It'll change your life. It's like if you here's I'm like, if you, I'm like going to bed thinking about Chinese food. Oh, that's every day for me. But if you um if you if if you ever watch a Jurassic Park movie and, oh, and still and still question human beings not being aliens, you're fucking st- stupid. <laughs> There's no way you can watch it. There's no way you can watch a Jurassic Park movie and really think we live side by side with fucking giant lizards. Let me ask you, you know, how about this? Whoever thinks that dinosaurs were real and humans walked the earth with dinosaurs, go play with a crocodile. <laughs> go fuck with one of those 30 foot anacondas and come talk. Y'all motherfuckers are scared of cats. Y'all scared of lions. Let alone. Should- Huh? You ever see? You ever seen an anaconda? Hell yeah! I've been to plenty of zoos. Yo, because talk- yeah, man, because yeah. that fucking south of the border shit in South Carolina, they had like a reptile exhibit thing. They had a fuck. They had like a legit anaconda and king cobra. And king cobras, I didn't even know the motherfuckers was as big as they were. Yeah, because TV don't do them things justice. That's how I be trying to tell people. They sure, yo, they sure as fuck don't because this thing was fucking huge. If you I ever see a king lion, it's, it's just like them snakes. If you ever see a lion in person, them lions is like oh, they're six fucking feet huge. Tall. Yeah, them lions be like six feet tall and shit like that. I'm like, do y'all understand how fucking big a lion is? Y'all be looking at that shit on TV like, but yeah, yeah, TV, yeah, TV, yeah, TV don't do none of them damn things justice. Don't do those shit justice. Lions are like six feet tall, man. Them motherfucking heads is like four feet Dang. alone. And they run like Tyreek Hill. Imagine a lion <laughs> running <laughs> they run like, like Tyreek, Tyreek Hill. <laughs> the fuck out of here, bro. You better be Deion <laughs> Sanders if you want to outrun the motherfuckers, man. Oh, you ain't out running the line. If gazelles, the most majestic and graceful creatures, can't outrun a fucking lion, your ass ain't outrunning one. But they ain't black, though. Black folks be oh, outrunning shit. bullets, police, and all kind of shit. <laughs> okay, the bullets and police is different from the goddamn lion. <laughs> I'm telling you, black folks, we got a different gear, yo. Black folks got, black folks got, every black person got a, a, an emergency hey, uh, gear I, that hey, we uh, hey, uh, I forget what Madden it was, but uh, Gus Johnson was the commentator. I like when you would break away for a touchdown, the motherfucker would be like, he's got to get away from the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. He, he I got fuck, that yo, I, yo, I fuck, yo, I remember, yo, I remember the first time I did it. I think I was using Maurice Jones' room. 
Like, I was breaking a run. I heard that motherfucker say that. I, like, died laughing and got tackled at, like, the two-yard line. Facts. I remember that shit. He got that get away from the cop speed. That shit is fucking legendary. He's got to get away from the cop speed. I'm telling you, black folks, your black folks got extra gears. Um, if you, I'm telling you, every black folk press that button when it's time. If you ever notice, black folks don't never get, like, we don't never get caught in certain shit. All black folks run. When danger lurks, black people be fucking gone. But yo, I, yo, I do, I do remember this one episode of Cops where, um, like they were searching dude, and they, as soon as they pulled a crack, uh, as soon as they pulled a crack rock out, that motherfucker was gone. Like the camera yeah. couldn't even keep up with him. <laughs> yo, we turn it. Yo, tell me, yo, black folks turn into fucking Olympians when it's time to get when it's time to get going, bro. We be ho- hopping fences, <laughs> running on roofs. Black folks be fucking. <laughs> <gone>. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 even EDP, bro, for a fat dude, EDP got that gear too. Let the cops be trying to let, let, let oh, the cops start yo, chasing yo, yo. No, there's no fucking way. Tell you, bro, got that get away for the cop speed. <laughs> man, man, EDP got that get away from the gym speed. <laughs> 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 EP don't run. My man EDP got this I ain't even gonna lie to you though. EDP, huh? EDP got them um EDP got them I wish a nigga wood guns. That's an EDP got EDP got them I wish a nigga wood guns. EDP got the kind of yeah, guns gotta, that you want to try. Oh yeah shit. I can remember to send my that reminds me, I gotta remember to send my fucking fingerprint shit off so I can get my gun. EDP got them. I w- I really want you to try me guns. That's what he got. EDP got them. I want you to try me guns. Like I dare you to try me e- guns. EDP got that get to Chipotle speed. Man, I know one thing. <laughs> uh, my last thing is legendary. Yo, where my five likes at? Damn, we this close to a hundred. I want my five likes. Fuck is wrong with you? Oh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't even do that. There you go. Want my five likes? There you go. You at ninety seven. Now you need three. I flame everybody. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody safe for my live streams. <laughs> ain't nobody safe. Damn, sure. I be trying to tell people, bro. I be like, look, before you come on my live streams, there's no shit gonna be real. You will get flamed. Especially if my oh, shoes trust, don't oh, trust me, I, I've, 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 seen, I've seen a bunch of these damn comments talking shit about me, so I'm, I don't care. Shout out to Undisputed. Undisputed says, EDP of Badlands chugs in a race. It depends on what they're racing for. It depends. Oh, yeah. Because Badlands chugs. Well, I don't, well, it dep- depend. well, you got to get their preference on what food they like. Yeah, so if it's like, like if it's like it, like it, like it, oh, the EDP winning that shit hands EDP. down. But if it's like a bunch of Mountain Dews or some shit like that, you know, be bad land chuck or McDonald's or yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. Fuck me, I hate McDonald's. I don't know why I be eating that shit. I do too. McDonald's is the only that thing one, in the world that one, I, eat, I still eat. Yeah, that that one that one night when I was talking to you when I was like pissed up, when I was like pissed off and like just fucking stress eat McDonald's. You also made it myself the next day. I ran for two hours at the gym. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do, son. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. But yeah, but yeah, like two McRibs, two McDoubles, and two McChicken. I, I ain't ate like that in a long time. See, but here's the thing. All right, here's the thing. That's some fat boy shit. Let me explain to you why. McDonald's. Oh, I know it is. Because this is the thing. Like, I could eat Chinese food. Like, I could eat a lot of Chinese food. But the thing with Chinese food is, I never feel like a fat ass when I'm eating Chinese food. When I go to McDonald's, I feel like a fat ass when I eat their food. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like when I eat Chinese that food. Like, that and like Wendy's has the, that, like Wendy's and Checkers. Wendy's, that has Burger that, that King, has. they make you feel like a fat ass, though. It's like, and you feel yeah. it too. Like, when I'm eating chicken and broccoli with white rice and I eat it all in one sitting and the egg roll, 
I feel like I ate a healthy nutritionist full course meal. Let me go to McDonald's, eat two Big Macs and a French fry. I feel like I'm the fattest nigga on the planet. <laughs> I'll be like, damn. I'll be asking God for forgiveness. I'll be like, God, I didn't even mean to eat this. Right. My bad. <laughs> 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 I'll be like, <laughs> I really should have ate. Lord, for, Lord, forgive me for eating this Big Mac. <laughs> Facts, because but yeah, I, like, but yeah, but but you know, but you know what though, like the the one thing about Wendy's and Checkers is that shit tastes good. McDonald's just shit. McDonald's is nasty as fuck. I hate McDonald's. I swear, I be I fucking hate McDonald's. But the thing is, like, I, mean, I really like I really gotta be in the mood for McDonald's to eat. But the thing bullshit. is, they double they double quarter pounders be off the fucking chain, though. That's the problem. It's like I be in a mood like once every once a month, once every month, once every other month, I be in a mood for them double quarter pounders. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, undisputed. Please don't tell me you really work at McDonald's. See, let's... <laughs> But see, when, but see, when you get the urge for the double quarter pounder, man, that's why you got to hit up Wendy's or get a big view for, from Checkers, bro. Because nah, shit but here's the thing: you understand. Big out of the water. I can't. I hate. Like, I don't eat. Here's the thing: I can't eat Wendy's no more. I can't eat what? Wendy's. No more. I fucking hate Wendy's. Let me tell you why. How do you hate Wendy's? I worked at a gas station for like four, almost five years, right? Oh wait, worked- yeah, I've heard the story. I worked at two separate gas stations. The gas station I worked at for two years was right across the street from from, from Wendy's. So I ate Wendy's twice a day for like two years for free because I was the nigga at the gas station that gave you all the free black and miles. I dropped extra cigarettes in your shit. All All the managers at Wendy's knew. I looked the other way when you went and got your fucking uh beer at the end of the night. So they knew what uh, they hooked me up with free food because they always got free shit from me see, when I was working. See now, see nowadays the way they keep track of shit, you can't do that anymore because like when I worked at a Super Fresh, which is a grocery store that used to be around here, um, we had a liquor store right next door to us too. So like I'd be hooking the dude that works at the liquor store up with free shit from uh shit from Super Fresh, and he'd be hooking me up with liquor. Facts, but here's the thing: though. I worked and this, in the and this, was, and this was and this was before I was 21 too. So this is like the best time I could get it. And jacking off is a thousand percent right. They do keep inventory of all that shit. But I worked in the yeah. hood. I was third shift in the hood. She went firing me. I was stealing money right out the register. Didn't give a fuck. She ain't do. She ain't, she wasn't gonna fire me because what nobody else gonna work that shift. You know how many crackheads I had to throw off the fucking can't. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Then nobody want to work that third shift but me. I ain't even want to work that bitch. You know how many crackheads and drug yeah. dealers I had to deal with on a regular basis? That's why, but, but nah, the drug dealers fuck with me, though, because they understood my hustle. But, like, all them fucking crackheads, I used to have to fucking kick off the damn property and shit like that. Oh, yeah. Nah. Mine, was, mine was, uh, mine, one of my overnight jobs was Royal Farms. We'd always get the drunk motherfuckers coming, want the chicken. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Anna had to deal with the drunk customers and shit like that. Like, nah, man, it, she, she wasn't gonna fire me. She didn't give a fuck how much stuff I stole out that bitch. Shout out to Theo. <laughs> Theo, <laughs> Theo says the most expensive fast food of Five Guys. That shit nasty too, Theo. I don't fuck with Five. No, guys. it ain't. Five Guys. Five Guys is fucking the shit. I used to work at a Five Guys too. For the price is nasty. For the yeah, price, the price is fucked up. And yet, yes, Safakuru, I am from Maryland. Well, hold on, time out. William says, Fist, you were stealing. Time out. No, 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 no. Understand something. I didn't consider it stealing. I considered it part of my pay wage. Understand something. Them motherfuckers is paying was me. Bartering. They was paying me $8.35 to risk my life. Get the fuck out of here. I'm working third shift by myself in the middle of the hood, in the middle of nowhere. I'm the only thing on with lights after 10 o'clock. I'm the only motherfucking thing on with lights. Me taking money out of the oh, oh, Nah. That's part of that's part yo, of my page. Yo, I got some stories about the late night waffle house run. I got a couple of them. Uh one time I went went and matter of fact, they both happened in Jacksonville. 
Like, um, me and my boy, like, I came home, like, we were coming back from uh, Jack's Beach. We was drunk as fuck. Like, I almost fought a, fought a bouncer that night. And um, we get we get there. There's this bitch that had fucked up teeth. And uh, my boy Willie, he's trying, my boy Willie, he, he's trying to get her number and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? You cannot be this fucked up. And I found out that was the first time he ever drank in his life. And then another, right. and then another one, and then another d- different time, like it's a, uh, it's a waitress, it's a waitress out there that looks for, that looks, that looks decent, and like a slipper, and then like told me to uh, meet her out back. So I go around back, and then all the starting, you know, she's blowing me, and I'm like, whoa, damn, you got, I that. love you, Jacksonville, you yeah. Damn. Jagging on getting blowjobs at, at work. Shout out to Jagging on. It wasn't at work. I was just I was just in town out. Oh, okay. Oh, sir, that, this, this, was, this was this was in Jacksonville. Shit like that don't happen in Maryland. Yeah, yeah, it really don't. Shit like that only happened in Florida. But shout out to Undisputed. Undisputed says, Yeah, I work at McDonald's. Sadly, I'm 17. You little punk. Oh my gosh. I was about yo, all that's all that work at McDonald's. Little dirty ass little teenagers that can't do shit right, can't count at the <laughs> register, can't load the bag right, can't do shit. I that's why I hate McDonald's because don't number teenagers work in that bitch. You go to Wendy's, it be grown ass motherfuckers in there. You go to Burger King, it be grown ass men behind the grill. You go to fucking McDonald's, ain't nothing but fucking little tenth graders in there and shit. Man, that shit be annoying, bro. Like damn, go go mow a fucking lawn, get the fuck away from my food. And, ta- and Taco Bell is kind of somewhere in between. Fuck, nah, I ain't never eaten at no Taco Bell. Taco Bell could suck 10 dicks. Bro, come Fuck on, Taco man. Taco Bell. Bell's a shit. Fuck Taco Bell, that fake ass meat. Fuck them. Ain't Fuck. nothing fake about Taco Bell's meat, bro. That meat fake. You, 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 you leave Taco Bell alone. Fuck Taco Bell and they fake ass meat. <laughs> and they fake ass tacos. Them tacos ain't real. Them tacos be wet, soggy. Hey, I don't. Hey, man, I don't, I don't care if they not. I know them damn tacos ain't real. That's what makes it special. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. He's. I saw like Franklin from GTA Five. Who the Fuck is Franklin from GTA Five? Now time out. Yo, what the fuck? You seventeen? Do you go to ain't school? You, ain't, ain't, you, ain't, ain't that like double dipping? Like you working for the competition? Like I, I remember I did. I remember. Well, actually, I remember. What... Go ahead. I remember back when I was I remember back when I was looking for a job like they I was trying to work for two pizza places at the same at the same time they told me I couldn't do this it's like you're working for our competition bitch fuck you I need money facts but I won't I'm not sure cuz I remember when I worked at the gas station <clears throat> my boy blue his girl worked at McDonald's not McDonald's she went to Burger King and Wendy's so I mean I guess um, I don't know, but I will say this though: I don't think Taco Bell would be considered McDonald's competition though. So if McDonald's had like a clause, I don't think Taco Bell because it's Mexican food. It's not like it's not like the you competing with the Whopper or some shit like that. Shout out to Undisputed. Undisputed says I work two jobs. I'm a senior in high school. Man, you better go quit them jobs. Go have some fun and get you some pussy. Over here, you not have it. Listen, bro. Let me explain something to you. Right, let me explain something. He to you. he bet he bet he banging uh Maria at fucking Taco Bell. I don't know. You know what? All I'm gonna say is this: at the end of the day, fuck school, bro. Just fuck school. Fuck that shit. I don't miss my senior year of high school at all. I don't miss none of that bullshit. I don't miss college. I don't miss none of that shit. That's one of the reasons why I hate watching Power Book 2. Because it reminds me of my college days. And I and I don't look too fondly on my college days. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I would go, go to college. college I went to college. At, I would. I can't say why I went to college at because then that would expose the area I live in. But um, I went to a little local college for two years, and it's just like, at the end of the day, without getting too personal, fuck jobs and fuck college. I get it how I live, man. Working for yeah, people. Say, you, you, made, you, made, you made it, but it, you made it without getting a job. So shit, I mean, you did all right. You no, know, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just like at the end of the day, bro. I'm I, I get tired of managers having control all over my life. School wasn't putting no money in my pocket. It just, you know, everybody got to do their own thing, run their own course. But I will say this though. I'm all for entrepreneurship. Fuck that job shit. Ain't no grown man going to tell me I'm fired. I'm tired. I got fired from 11 jobs and quit like four of them. I'm, I fucking hate jobs, man. I'm not, I was never built to be a worker. The only reason why I lasted so long at the gas station is because I did, I only work with one person and I never saw my manager. And then I got switched to third shift in the hood and never saw my fucking manager. So at the end of the day, is like I work by myself. I've never worked well with other people. So when I'm at a job like CarMax or I'm at a job like Trump International and I'm on the beach working with 15 people and shit like that, you know, it's like shit don't work. I, I don't get along with people. I don't. Well, yeah, for, the, for the most part, for the most part, pretty much all my jobs, I'm like for the most part working by myself, which I prefer that way. And it's peaceful. Yeah. 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 Shout out the um under like the what like the what like the one I'm in my fucking car delivering packages so yeah you be fucking chilling it's when you got coworkers that want to run their fucking mouth all the time that's when shit get fucked up right shout yeah. out the undisputed he says I pay rent about to graduate got my girl and work yeah undisputed you got you you, you got too much of a life I ain't got time for that shit. Undisputed. He, 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 he doing a lot for se- he doing a lot for seventeen, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He one of those people that just got too much shit going on. See, my yeah. life is simple. See, undisputed got a complicated life. See, my life has been simple. You know what I'm saying? My life when I was 17 years old, all I did was I worked at GameStop, I went to school, and I shot niggas in Gears of War. That's all I did when I was 17. My life was simple. I went yep. to school, I went to work on the weekends. And I shot niggas in Gears of War. That's it. So all I did when I was 17. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, yeah, I worked at Trump International Dr. Demolition. I, I got I put a picture of my, I put the picture of it on um Instagram. Yeah, you I got was, a tight ass blue shirt on. Yeah, I was a beach attendant at Trump International. I used to get all the bitches too. Oh my gosh, I used to get all the bitches. They used to love that because I was I'm a sexy ass nigga, so they used to really enjoy me bringing them drinks and carrying their heavy tables and chairs across the beach, flexing on them a little bit. Yeah, man, I I really I I was so. I mean, it it helps when you're good looking and you got money. You got well, you got well, you're well, you're stable. These bitches look for that kind of shit. Yeah, you know, so I I always been good looking. I always been good looking and funny. So I always had a head up on the bitches. Always had a head up on the bitches. Thing is, thing is, now I look better than I did when when I was in my twenties. When I was in my twenties, I had a fat ass face and I didn't have a beard. Now that I grew that and like lost weight in my fa- weight, my face is along with everywhere else. Like I look better. What the fuck? What he says, 20 unemployed and worships you like a prophet. You might know him as Nate Taylor or Angry 12. I was wondering if you could toss a cent. Hey, look, hey, yo, Timothy, at the end of the day, man, I preach entrepreneurship. So just tell your man to go get, get to the bag. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to have a job. Just go get to the bag. All right. I don't care what you do to get well, your money. talking about me. He said he worships you. No, no, no. I was telling this dude William said I was th- thought I was talking about you. I was talking about me. Oh no, nah, I was just saying like Timothy Taylor, tell your brother to go get to the bag, man. And don't do no crime you can't do the time for. All right. So yeah. if you can't yeah. do the time, don't do the crime. 
fist work for Donald Trump. A lot of people work for Donald Trump. He just became the president four years ago. Relax. <laughs> like, relax. You know how many hotels yeah. this motherfucker owns in the country? Please. I don't know. It's a, I don't know. It's a lot less. It's a lot less now because a lot of them are going out of business. Yeah, but I'm just saying in general, like, you know, so what? Okay, oh, hopefully he dies soon. Piece of shit. He like me. I ain't have a problem with it. I I try, I chopped it up with it. He like my walk. A lot of people like Man. my walk. Dennis Rodman like my walk. Donald Trump like my walk. A lot of people fuck with my walk. My walk is fucking legendary. That's why I like I could I can never commit crimes because it's like I'm like they gonna identify me by my fucking walk. My walk is like so I got it's like it's so swagged out, bro. It's like my walk is legendary. You know, you got Vince McMahon, you got Conor McGregor's like some he's like, yo. Vince McMahon walk would be funny as shit. I walk with swag. I, I walk with swag, man. You can't, you know, like my walk is non imitatable. People have been trying to fucking mim- my, imitate my walk for the longest. I just sneezed twice. Somebody talking shit about me. <laughs> I don't know who. <laughs> I don't know who, but I just sneezed twice. Somebody talking shit Cold about Raven me. In, Cold Raven in the sleep. <laughs> Yeah, we're cold raving in his sleep talking shit. Like, <laughs> like he he gonna wake up in a cold sweat. Like damn, my whole fist can't hear that shit. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Undisputed. Undisputed says, "Be my coach." I'm trying to play D two football. Yo, bro, I I got shit to do. Okay, I, I I ain't no coach. I ain't got time to be no fucking coach. I don't, only thing I'm coaching is myself to this money and these bitches. Only thing I'm coaching, coaching myself to these money and these hoes. <laughs> now, nah, I mean, at the end of the day, man, like I said, I, uh, I don't know, man. I said, like, I love me and me, man. I, I got some stories, you know what I'm saying? I got some stories and just no, oh, everybody got some stories, man. Shit crazy out here, man. I know it's shot. You shot them still alive. I'm still alive, right? I know I'm shot. I'm still alive right now, too. I really I don't, am. I don't know. What's up? I mean, a game. I mean, a game ended like fucking. I don't know how long ago. At least an hour ago. Yeah, all this means is that I'm not doing a reaction to the game. That's all it means. <laughs> That's all that shit. That's yeah, all that shit. Yeah. I don't blame you there. Nah, because you know why? Because this is the thing. I feel like this, right? I don't know. Like, I just think that when it comes to reactions, it's weird because it's like, I don't know. I feel like if it's. If it's not a team that I cover on a regular basis, so the fuck what? Especially if I'm live for the game. Like if I'm live for the game, I don't always feel obligated to put the video. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I don't know. It, but, but really what it is, is this. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't put out as many reactions as I used to because I'm tired of working that hard. Let me explain to you what I mean. If I'm going to be live for five hours, why am I gonna record five videos? Yeah, I don't know. Luckily, luckily for me, I don't have to worry about this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like if I'm a re- if I'm gonna be live for five hours, I'm not recording five videos because I end up losing my voice. I end up rushing, and then the, the quality of the video is not as good because I'm rushing through the shit trying to get it out fast, and then go live again, and it just ends up. It's like it's doing too much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just feel like quality is better than quantity. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Definitely. Fist. I mean, even I though I, am, even though I am trying to do more shit now, he said, "Fist." See, we got that. Go ahead. Yeah, cause he, cause he here, like I got the new segments, the spotlight and the shit show on my channel, or the shit list on my channel now. Oh, really? Yes. 
Hey, y'all make sure y'all are subbing the Jagging Off channel, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Jagging Off be coming through, showing support. Y'all make sure y'all go sub his channel up. He says, Fisk, how do you laugh like that naturally? Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I fucking how, does anybody, don't how does anybody laugh like they do? Yeah, word. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I was about to take a shot, but like I said, the the the, the, the good little religion boy in me said, "Nah, I don't do that." What you drinking? N- nah, I'm just saying the, the the good Christian boy in me said, "Don't take a shot." Nah, I was about to take a shot at uh, I was about to I, I was about to have a smart remark, but I said, "Nah, I ain't gonna do that." Oh, that was that. Because because you said, "How does anybody laugh?" And I was gonna make I'm never mind. <laughs> 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 never mind. Nah, but look, if I ever did a face reveal, y'all would really get a kick out of my laugh too. Because and I'll be when I like laugh this something like if I'm laughing real hard, like I literally you 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 literally see me put my hand on my belly and my whole head caught back. I'll be laughing like a, a super villain for real, bro. <laughs> I really oh, do. Shit. I'll be laughing like a super villain for real, man. Oh my fucking gosh, bro! Shit be shit be hilarious, bro. I have my hand on my stomach, my whole head be caught back. I be laughing like I be laughing like I'm about to blow some shit up for real, bro. Oh man! While jagging off, it might be about that time, bro. I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm tired of shit. You gotta get up. Like, uh, well, actually, not to. Well, actually, not tonight. That's probably the main reason I did this shit. That and you know what I had on the line in this game. But um, nah, I found out today I gotta fucking work late shift like tomorrow night. What's really up? Pissing me off, but whatever. And what a twelve thirty. What time? Huh? What time is that? Four p.m. Four p.m. to twelve thirty a.m. Oh fuck! That's my that. shit. That's my shift. In my that's my shift in my main job, Morris. And I already and I already got to do it once Thursday, Thursdays anyway because um I do distance learning with my daughter on Thursdays and Fridays. And I'm off on Fridays. No disrespect, but I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told Boogie. Y'all be making me appreciate my life sometimes because, like, I remember before the oh, pandemic. Sure we do. When I had to, when I was working before the pandemic, and it was just like, I hate punching into a clock. Like, knowing the only issue, like, for real, like, knowing, like, my only problem in life is being bored or not wanting to record a fucking video. I was like, I told myself that once a week, there's like once a week where I really don't fucking feel like recording. And I'll be like, you know what? Let me go ahead and bang out this eight minute video because it's better than being at work for eight hours. It really is. I've ever bang out this video for eight minutes, then punch a clock and have to curse my manager out once a week for fucking rushing me. It's better than going back to that. Wish- huh? I mean, shit. I wish. I mean, shit. I wish I could. I wish I could make a li- living off of YouTube. I ain't there yet. I mean, well, most I of my. I don't know how to edit. Yeah, most of my shit come from other than YouTube, but like what YouTube gave me an opportunity to do was um eliminate the job because the bulk of my income come from other shit. But what YouTube did was allow me not to have to punch a clock because what happened is I was only working to pay for certain shit. Like I was working to like pay for certain shit. And it was like YouTube took over the job part. So it's like I still make my money in other areas. But the thing is, I don't have to punch a clock to make sure I'm making a certain amount of money. Like I don't want to explain it because I'm not like casting over two time. You niggas ain't going to arrest me over some shit I said over the Internet. I'll be damned. I refuse. I'm not going to jail because I said because I said some shit over the Internet. Fuck that. There, this dude Casanova going to jail because he was DMing shit on Instagram and shit. Nah, that's not gonna be me. Nope, y'all not gonna catch me like they be catching these dumbass niggas going on Vlad TV. So all, all y'all need to know is I appreciate every word. Dudes be incriminating themselves. 
I'm telling you, I'm not like, I'm never going to admit to a crime that you could take me to jail for on a fucking internet. I'm not going to do it. The closest you're ever going to get to me admitting a crime is me stealing shit from my old gas station. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's the closest you're going to get. And like, that's past the statute of limitation. Any, and here's the thing. Nobody knows what the fuck I look like anyway. So it's like, I don't show my face for a reason. Niggas ain't going to fuck my shit up. Hell not. If I the day I show my face, you two better really be paying me a bag. If I'm gonna show my face, you two better really be fucking paying me a bag. Shout out to Dama Drama. Dama Drama a says, subs. "What's up? A million subs and you'll do it? No, not I, I, <laughs> I'm still gonna have to be forced to do it. But at the same time, it's just like once I show my face on YouTube, I can't do shit no more. Like I like I can't do shit." See, right, right now, I can still handle my business and be a YouTuber. The minute I show my face on YouTube, I can't do shit no more because now I'm a YouTuber. Everybody know what I look like. I can't be low-key no more. I got to really be on the up and up for real once I'm, like, show my face. You know what I'm saying? It's like... I don't know. I don't know. I, it, worked, it worked out for me because, like, when I go to Jags games and stuff, like, I get recognized, which is pretty cool. Shout out to Dom Drama. He says, I went to work at 2 p.m. I'm driving home now. Shout out to Dom Drama. All right. You drive safe. Yeah, I don't want to be recognized, though. That's the thing. Like, I don't want to be recognized. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I get it. Some people like that. Yeah, like, I want to keep. Me, yeah, I just, me, I just don't give a fuck. Nah, me, I'm a, um, I'm like a ghost. Like, I really, like. I'm re I'm really a low key dude. Like even in in like real life, I'm a low key guy. Like I don't want people to like. I'm not flashy. When when I was in my early twenties, I was flashy. I'm not gonna lie. I went through my little stage two, counting the money and wanting to be seen, and you know I went through my phase in my early twenties. But the older I got, the more low key I got. And like that's just how I am now. I'm just a low key dude. I don't want no attention because I don't like people. I'm really unapproachable in person. I'm not the nicest motherfucker on the planet. And I say that so people don't get disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I would hate for somebody to think I'm a nice guy and then they approach me in person and I'm like ready to fuck them up. Like, do I know you? What? I mean, depends, I mean, depends how you come at me. Man, I don't give a fuck how you come at me. You can come at me with a smile on your face. If I don't know you, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to smack the shit out of you. The fuck you say hi to me for? Nah, I'm not your friend. Go somewhere else. Right. I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just, I'm cranky. It depends on what mood you catch me in, man. I'm, I'm, I'm real moody. I'm just not with it. It's like people be celebrities and shit like that. I don't want to be a celebrity. I don't want to go out and sign autographs. I don't want to have conversations about sports with motherfuckers. I don't want to do none of that shit. I don't even like saying hi to my own mama, let alone say hi to a fucking eight man. Please. Hell nah, man. I'm not with it. I'm a real isolated person. Jagginal, you are aware that you, you're the, you, the only person that texts me more than you is Boogie and my mother. Damn. That's it. I don't know nobody. I don't, this, be, I don't even be hitting you up like that. Exactly. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. I got like I got like six numbers in my phone and two of them are my fucking parents. I don't know nobody. I don't fuck with nobody. So it was like at the end of the day, I can't I would never be comfortable showing my face because I'm not comfortable being comfortable around a lot of people. Not right. because I'm shy, not because I lack attention. It's just at the end of the day, I just don't want to fucking be bothered because I know how I am. I'm not a shy person. I'm not one of those people who are awkward. I'm not awkward in front of people. I'm not like that. I'm still going to run my mouth and talk my shit. I'm not one of those people who are weird. I'm not weird. Like when I'm around people, I run my mouth. I crack my jokes. You know when I'm around. I'm a loud ass dude. You know when I'm in the building. But at the same time, it's just like I know how to turn that shit off. 
Like when I'm not around you, I don't want to be around you. Yeah. I have, you know what I'm saying? When like when I clock in at work, right? If I'm at work, just because I'm laughing with you and I'm cracking jokes in front of people at work, don't mean you gotta say hi to me if you see me at Walmart. If I'm on my lunch break, that don't mean you got to come by and dap me up. Like, stay the fuck away from me. Leave me alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Corey Harris. He says, see the Instagram live between Katie and Kyrie. I downloaded that. That's supposed to go on my reaction channel, but I, I be getting backed up on my reaction channel. I, I, that's supposed to be going on my reaction you channel. You still ain't do that one wrestling video I sent you. I, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, that I ain't shit doing that was, shit. That shit was so bad. <laughs> I ain't doing that shit. Oh my god, yo! I fucking died with that video. I'm Is not that, doing that shit. It, if you come in my face, I'm going to fight you. <laughs> oh fuck out of here! Doing that shit. Yeah. Nah, man. <laughs> It I really love talking about he going jerk or not in somebody's ass. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> Yo, I realize I realize you can catch them saying that dumb shit that much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh god. Yo, this dude Scott said fish just want to stay home and play online chess. Facts. Let me live, man. I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all because I never want to disappoint y'all. I feel like I can't disappoint y'all if I set realistic expectations. I don't want y'all to ever expect something from me that I won't deliver. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I am not. I never want y'all to expect something from me that I'm not going to deliver. On. I'm very Eminem-esque when it comes to my privacy. Like, I understand why Eminem don't never go no fucking well. I get it. Like, you know, you just, I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of I don't want to be famous. I don't want I don't want none of that shit. I want to entertain y'all. I enjoy being an entertainer and I enjoy the perks to come with it. But if I have an opportunity to grow my brand and keep my and keep my privacy, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? If I can grow my brand and keep my privacy, I'm going to do it. You feel me? Yeah. Shout out to Corey Harris. He says, I think it's something really wrong mentally with Kyrie Irving. And yes, that live you. video with KD proves it. Yes, Corey, you. where the fuck you been? <laughs> I've been trying to tell y'all something wrong with Kyrie Irving for years. Yeah, yeah I think it's about that time. Hell yeah, it's about that time. I need to drink me like three bottles of water and, and go to bed. Cause my mouth dry as fuck right now, Paul. Didn't you, didn't you worry about pissing yourself, bro? Huh? And you ain't worry about pissing yourself, drinking that much damn water before going to bed? Nah, I piss once every two hours. Any fucking way, it don't matter. Oh, see, so yeah, <laughs> like that. Sometimes I'll be waking up in the middle of the night and just piss out my bedroom window. What the fuck? You live in a what? You live in a tree house? No, I just don't feel like. No, I just don't feel like walking all the way to the bathroom. My window's <laughs> right by my bed. <laughs> Everybody asleep, so who? Everybody's asleep, so who gives a fuck? <laughs> Pause. And I'm half asleep, and I'm half asleep anyway. Yo, wait a minute, Jagano. You ain't worried about somebody seeing your dick hanging out the window? <laughs> it ain't like it ain't like I'm ashamed of it. Oh, um, I, I have a decent sized dick, so I'm good. What just happened? What, 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 what just happened? How do we get on this subject? What just happened? Well, we were well, we were talking about drinking water and pissing, and then yeah. Oh my gosh! I ain't even know nothing about jacking off dick size. Okay, I ain't even know that. <laughs> can, we, can, we take, can we take that back? <laughs> Can we? Can we? Can we? Really Yo, chill, I'm, not, I'm not pissing on any of my neighbors. It's like it's like in the middle of the night. Now that's good. Jack, no live in a fucking treehouse, bro. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's the second floor. I mean, it's the second floor of my house. Oh, that's even worse. So you pick on the second floor? Yeah. 
It'd be it'd be like it'd be like at two and three in the morning when I don't feel like walking off my ass to the bathroom. Jacking off. That's the most fat boy lazy shit <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. If my black ass can get up in the middle of the night and go take a leap. And well, I don't sleep. See, you ask, you probably get deep sleeps. I can't sleep. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah, I can't sleep more than two hours at a time anyway, so it don't fucking matter to me. Yeah, because when I'm out, I'm out unless like I wake up for that and then like I just get right back in my bed. See, I'm, I envy you. I really do. I wish I could sleep for like five to eight hours at a time, man. I swear I do. I would love to be able to sleep for like five to eight hours at a time. But, but you know, but you know what pissed me off though? Sometimes like I'll wake up like ten minutes before my alarm's supposed to go off. That's like, good. Yeah. It, JT, if you pissed in front of my store, I would have whooped your ass. <laughs> I used to whoop crackhead asses all the time. Nah, because what me was like, I'm ran like here's the thing. I got robbed in my gas station. And once I got robbed in my gas station, I was locking my door. I was letting niggas in one at a time. Fuck that. I ran my shit like a G. Niggas wanna fuck with. But I ain't gonna lie though, when that dude threatened to shoot me, I damn sure caught a week later. Some nigga most definitely threatened to shoot my ass. I caught a week later. I said, now, wait a minute. These, these niggas paying me 835 I ain't about to get shot for no... I ain't about to get shot for a, a Big Mac meal and a, and, and, and a chicken nugget. We ain't doing that shit. Niggas out here paying me 835 Fuck y'all. Shout out to Bro, Sebastian Perez. Bro. Oh, go ahead. He like Sebastian Perez says he likes big back big black cocks. If you got a, <laughs> if you got a big black cock, go fuck Sebastian Perez. He's dying for it. Yo, but look, yo, but look, they're not gonna catch me on a nudity charge. Like my dick's still inside the window. It's just going my piss just going outside the window. You don't see shit. Jagging on stop trying to justify this freaky ass shit, bro. I'm I'm not ju- I'm not justifying it. I'm just speaking facts on it. Jack on trying to explain the way this freaky ass shit out here living in a treehouse pissing out the <laughs> fucking book of the shit. <laughs> what, man? Sometimes you don't feel like walking to the bathroom, so I just say fuck it. Nah, though, like, I don't know. Like, even like for for example, tonight, right? Like, I'm, I'm about to pop. Unless, yeah, like, you gotta be looking, you gotta be looking at a window with binoculars to like see it. <laughs> you about to catch a piss charge. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Corey Harris. Corey Harris says, never let Jagging off for your live ever again. You Jagging off out here scaring the fist unit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, man. You, you know it's entertaining when my ace is here, too. I know one thing. And it's crazy, too, because I remember when I worked at Verizon, right? I worked at Verizon. And here's this funny thing about Verizon. I uh, worked in the business section of Verizon, which is a call center. It's a call center. I never worked in a store. I worked <laughs> in a call center. I took calls all day. It's funny because it's like when I worked at the call center, all my friends was bitches. Yeah. All, I, I, I hated all male people at the fucking call center, bro. I had one, I had a male supervisor one time and I almost punched that nigga in the face. I swear I did, bro. I because I I've can't had a few, I've had a few supervisors almost punched in the face. I could only take orders from females. I can't take orders from men. That's that's why I lasted so long at the gas station and I lasted so long at Verizon. Only reason why I left Verizon is because of the fucking pandemic. But it's the it's funny though, because like I don't mind taking orders from a female. Females bossing me around does not bother me. Let a grown man tell me to go pick some shit up. I, I man, I'll be ready to fight. I'm like, who are you talking to, son? Who are you talking to? You want me to do what? You telling me to do what? Man, go suck my dick. How about that? <laughs> are we I, all right? Yeah, we all right. Yeah, we we got in this because we keep like getting on subjects of other shit. <laughs> Like we we've been trying to end the stream for like a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. 
<sighs> All right, we're gonna have to end this. All right, so we out of here, y'all. Um, next time I'm going live will probably be Thursday, maybe. I might go live to talk shit about Justin Herbert and Derek Carr. So <laughs> I might. I ain't making no promises. But yeah, we up out of here.